Hi everyone, Tony from Mac the Movies here, and now that Prey is out, I've reunited with Tom and Casey. We're going to take a look at the entire Predator franchise and try to decide which one is the worst Predator movie. Hey Casey, what are you looking for on that app store? After binge watching all of the Alien and Predator movies, I've gotten this urge to just fight monsters and I can't find a game that works for me. It looks like you don't know about Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends? I've never heard of it before. It's an amazing game that has both global PvP and massive PvE boss battles and over 600 champions and an insane variety of bosses too. Can you give me an example of one of these bosses? Sure! Let me introduce you to the Minotaur. According to the lore, he was a skinwalker sage a long time ago who went to the Mage Academy to study his animal curse. He even found a way to reverse it, but it didn't work! While he was perfectly human during the day, at night, he was eating people. He turned himself in and accepted exile, converting an ancient castle in the hills to continue his study in private. Sadly, the curse eventually rebounded and made him huge, hungry, and immortal, trapped in his massive library for all eternity. Poor guy. I can't wait to beat him mercilessly. Let's download the game today. You picked the right time, too. Raid's got a nonstop schedule of special events and activities, including Forge Pass Season 3, with some amazing rewards on offer, including a limited edition artifact set. If that's not enough, Raid's bringing out some new champions along with some awesome looking champion skins for the incredible Madam Ceres. I just researched a lot of the champions. The Death Knight guy looks cool. Is there any other news about him? Yes, he is finally becoming a legendary champion and he will now be the ultimate Death Knight. This is the happiest day of my life. Click my link in the description or scan my QR code here and you'll get unique bonuses worth $30. You are telling me I can get a free epic champion called Aina, 200,000 silver, one energy refill, and one XP boost, and one ancient shard, and be able to summon an awesome champion as soon as I get in the game? Yep, and all this will be waiting for you right here. Thanks, Thanks Raid, Raid Shadow, Shadow Legends. Legends. Hello, Casey. Hey, Hello. what's up? Hello, Tom. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> I'm glad we're back here talking about Predator movies. Oh, boy, am I as well. <laughs> yes, uh, Prey is out. We've all watched it. We went to Joe from Movie Dumpster's Place to watch we it. Did. That was a lot of fun. On the big screen. On the big screen. Did you we watch projected it. On the big screen? It. I, I did not. <gasps> not the same experience. Yeah, this is the first Predator movie released right. It's weird they don't say direct to video because I guess that doesn't <laughs> technically count, but in the 90s, this would be considered a direct to video sequel. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and, um, you know, we have been doing commentary tracks, because mm -hmm. Casey had never seen a lot of these movies. I know you uh, didn't see okay. the most recent one, I think. Correct. And I didn't see the, the, the last two most recent ones. Okay, So, yes. Predators. Yes. He so, could have uh, been was, included. Was new <laughs> but... It was a new experience for me. <laughs> so, I, uh, I took Casey on a journey to watch all of them, and that's on Patreon now. Uh, yes, but my yeah. life has been consumed by these yeah. movies. <laughs> I understand. My life has been consumed by Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> oh. What a dream. Yes. So we already have a review. If this is your first time watching, we already have a review of the first Predator movie on this channel. You can go back and watch that. I don't think anyone's going to pick that as the worst Predator movie, and I would be very angry if one of you did. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're going to mostly talk about the sequels and focus on Prey toward the end, and then we'll give us we'll give you guys our lists. Uh, but, yes, Predator 2. the fans know my opinion on it tom when was the first time you saw predator 2 uh let's see it was like 48 hours ago something like what? that <laughs> no yeah really yeah i had never seen predator 2 all the way through i've oh, only okay. seen like very small snippets okay what do you think about predator 2 i i mean if it wasn't for bill paxton what i i i was a little bit upset oh my because god because that line in the in the subway car? Yeah. Come on, motherfucker! What you can do? It's great! Oh my God. <laughs> I love that. That scene like helped me like oh, that movie yeah. a little bit more. <laughs> I really like Predator 2. I think you ended up liking it also. Yes. I think it's a really good nostalgic film. <laughs> yes. Uh, Casey got mad at me 
because I spoiled the movie. I know. I think I would have had a totally different reaction, though, what? if I Tom, hadn't Tom, known. Tom, you want to know what the spoiler of the movie was? Gary Busey was in it? No, it takes, pl- <laughs> it takes place in Los Angeles. It's literally the first thing the movie tells you. Spoiler. It's on the poster. I didn't know. I didn't look up the I'm poster. It says like <laughs> future, future Los Angeles, like 70 years in Ni- the future. 1997. But when Seven I, years in the future? Yeah. Okay. By, by when way, I saw that, I would have had a greater reaction. But I already knew. I'm reading the back of the box here. The electrifying action sequel unleashes the deadly predator in another jungle, the urban jungle of Los Angeles. <laughs> it's not a spoiler. I didn't read the synopsis. I go in blind. <laughs> also, I don't like that cover. Yeah, it's it matches the other one they put out, oh, it but does? it's not okay. the best. It's not the best. Yeah. It's a good it's a good DVD. Anyway, uh, I really like Predator too. I think it is it increases the lore a little bit. We what about the Predator's arsenal? Come on, Tom. The disc. That was there the were nice improvements. I the agree. neck gun, the I, spear, the, the improvements. Yeah. I, I agree, they were nice. The alien Easter egg before that eventually became true and disappointed us all. Like, come on. Yeah. Okay. There, there was, there were charming aspects. What did I you not agree. like oh, about that's a good word it. for Why it was, was he in a flipping spaceship? Like, come on. Because like, I, yeah, guess... I, I, I know why, but like, <laughs> why in the movie did they feel like this is you know why? necessary? You know why? Because we, the I scene think... can't take place anywhere else. It has to be in a spaceship. You space know why? That's... We talked about it in the first one. So Jim and John Thomas, the writers. Yes. They had, I think they had more control on this sequel. And the first movie was supposed to end up on a spaceship and they weren't able to get that ending. Okay. So I think they had more control this time. And they're like, we're, put, we're getting a spaceship in this goddamn movie. The spaceship's awesome. It's the only good Predator spaceship it we've is. seen when you factor in we the sequel. We haven't seen that many. It's just like, it's got the cool yellow lighting and it's got bones everywhere. That thing's awesome. It was I lo- built with just like so much love. You could just tell. <laughs> you could tell. What about it's Danny comforting. Glover as the hero? I, th- I thought he did did well. I thought he, 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 he was def- definitely good acting. I'm not gonna. I can't argue that at all. I yeah. just. I don't know. I just. I felt weird having it set seven years in the future. And that like, was bizarre. Some that... aspects were like futuristic, but like all their guns looked pretty stupid. Yeah. I'm, like <laughs> and like the cars. Like... All the cars matched exact. They were all minivans, and I'm like, that is not supposed to be a threatening police force they, uh, of the future. They like minivans. Wel- they welded like metal pieces onto the front of their guns. They're like, it's yeah. a future gun. Yeah. <laughs> I, just, I guess it is. I think I had a little trouble grasping that only seven years in the future when yeah. it's still 20 years ago now. So it well, doesn't, it didn't have the same effect. What did you, would you have preferred if Gary Busey's character was Dutch Arnold from the first movie, Return? Because that was the original idea. Nah, I don't, I don't think so. Because he, he gets soft, right? Yeah, he, yeah, yeah, he gets got, killed. Well, I, I, I doubt I he would have died if he was in the movie. As but upset as I, I am agree. to like see Arnold, just yeah. only recently, not in general. But, <laughs> but as, as upset as to see it, like I wouldn't want to see him die yeah. in Predator Two. It's like no, that's I don't that's, think that's, if not, he, that's not how he would go with a fucking cool gun or whatever. Yeah, if is, he like, ended ah. up in the movie, I think it would have had a very different ending. I don't think he mm-hmm. would have died. I don't think yeah. they would have done that. Uh, I don't know, but I, that's a shock that you don't like too. The, some it people is. think two is their favorite. I don't agree, but I can see how people would. Like, the thing I like about two because it is the original writers. Mm-hmm. It was filmed not too long after the first one. It feels very connected to the first movie. You know, they're filming on the same kind of film stock and whatnot, yeah. and it just it feels like that is like the truest sequel. I think. Okay. Um, and uh, like I said, I, you know what? I didn't like it the first time I saw it either. Okay, and so I've talked you, about that, that could before. Be that factor, like just. I think if you give it another impact. shot, it's one of those. If you give it another shot, uh, okay. it might grow on you. Yeah, like, I wouldn't say it was a bad movie. Just it, some of the aspects just didn't work for me. I guess. Yeah, I, I don't know. Just that. some of the predator's motivation, like when he found the people on the subway car. How did he find them? Is that did he like just look up like local I gangs think he was, he was, on his? He's like, probably got a way to track little trans just. But to that find scene, though, hooligans. Yeah. That scene was pretty awesome. But did you though, love with it? The strobe it, it lights. Was, oh yeah, and that okay. was an awesome scene. So, yeah, we shouldn't I'm be complaining. Like, <laughs> some of the motivation. I didn't understand how he could Go track on. people with knives. <laughs> oh, that guy has a knife. But there's a couple of them nearby with knives. Uh, Let's. So I think the idea is that him. he was a younger pred- predator, and that's right. why his like homeboys were there <laughs> hanging okay. out on the ship. <laughs> Uh, I think I told her I was looking up on the commentary. They're called the Lost Tribe. I'm like, why are they called the Lost Tribe? And the fact that I found, I couldn't confirm it. Apparently, someone stole all the Predator suits. So that's why they're now nicknamed the I, Lost Tribe. I think I, I think I heard about that actually. <laughs> yeah, just, now, did you see the behind the scenes video of Danny Glover dancing with the Predators? 
No. You're going to want to watch that. It literally, all the Predators, they were like the Lakers. Some members <laughs> of the Lakers. What? Not like the big ones, I think. <laughs> What do you mean by big ones? I don't. No, I mean like I don't think it was like Shaq or anyone like that. <laughs> okay, but uh, members of the Lakers were the cool Predators. And though. I guess when they were filming in the thing, like the Predators are all dancing, and then Danny Glover jumps in the middle of them and he dances with all of them. Oh, you've got to find it. <laughs> you got to find it. All right, I'll have to check it out. Yes. Because this is a new dance, and it's called Predator. All right, so that was Predator Two. And again, mm-hmm. I have more of it on Movie Dumpster. We did a long review there and our commentary yes. track. So the one thing Predator 2 teases is Alien versus Predator. Mm-hmm. So Alien versus Predator comes out. And again, I got a review of this, but I want to tell the story. There was It was in Florida. I was in Florida. There was a horrible hurricane. Hurricane Andrew? I forget. Uh, and we got stuck in Florida for a couple extra days because the airports were down. And it's like, hey, we're stuck here. Alien vs. Predator is out. And I'm like, I've waited my entire life for this movie. And then I almost died the night before. During the hurricane, I almost died, Tom. I almost... Just... That's like some destiny shit. Yes, but I survived. <laughs> like a... Do you know how I survived the hurricane? How? Because I was actually eating and I choked while a hurricane was going on. So uh-huh. I actually... Me almost dying had nothing to do with the hurricane. Okay. I just was an idiot and didn't chew enough. Understood. Uh, so then the next day, I'm like, I've survived. I'm a survivor. Yeah. <laughs> and this movie is out, and all my dreams will come true. And then I walked out of the theater, and I went, oh, that wasn't very good. <laughs> that, was, that was your life-altering choice in your life. It was like, like, I was like, life kind and of... death, and you're just like, you know what? I need to redeem this new Look on life. I was like, well, and this I is clearly Alien vs. Predator. This, this is, is clearly, clearly the, the most important movie ever made. Mm-hmm. I've read some of the comics. I played the video games. I read the novelization. See, it sounds like you almost wow. had premonitions about yes, it. Like, yes, yes. And then happened. I walked out and I went, my life has been a lot. Yes. <laughs> Were you by yourself? Yes. No, no. I was with oh, my family. Yeah. Oh, so they experienced it too. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I'll, I'll talk about a sad <laughs> seeing the movie by myself when we get to the next one. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I did that once. Me too. Uh, yeah, so I was very disappointed. I was like in, I went through like the stages of grief with the movie where I was like in denial, denial. and then no. eventually like anger. Acceptance ever? I'm now, okay. I now accept it. Do you All know right. where like the roller coaster started and like peaked? Because I know like the normal <laughs> flow of a movie, you know, you go up and like. Yeah. Falling action and all that. This must have just been the opposite, where yeah. it was just all downhill it was like, the entire time. It was like, time, here it right? goes, and it's like, oh. Uh, oh. So, when did you first see Alien vs. Predator? Oh, years ago. Okay. Like, the I only reason I'm not asking, came out. By the way, the only reason I'm not asking Casey is because I know the answer to all her questions. It was yeah. like last month. Uh, so, you saw it when it came out, in theaters? Well, not in theaters, oh, but okay. I saw it like with a friend down the street. He was just like, oh, man, Alien yeah. vs. there's so much gore and like, oh, the ending. And I'm like, oh, okay, sure. There I'll is, watch this yeah. movie. Even no. though I had never seen, I'd only seen Predator. Okay. And I never saw, literally, I never saw any Alien. <laughs> <Except for, laughs> never saw any other Predator movie except for Predator. <laughs> so and how- then I was like, let's just go right to Alien yeah. vs. Predator. So right how was it that. going for as, as someone who was unknown un, unaware of the Alien movies? How how was this as a good gateway to Alien? Did it work for you? Uh, there was action scenes. <laughs> I remember some of them. I've watched it a couple times. I still don't remember all of them. I've seen this movie so many. It's a movie I hate and I've seen so many times. So you secretly love it. Uh, you know, I've like. grown to appreciate like the uh just the B movie schlockiness of the Okay. But that's not what I wanted. I don't- I don't consider it like B movie because I literally like B movies. I yeah. feel like it would be on like the Sci Fi Channel or something. Did you like this movie? I feel like you like this movie. A I liked bit. it because of the. I really think of the final girl aspect of it. <laughs> <laughs> Where she's just like chilling with like, like the the down the ice key. It's like, great. Shoot. They became yes. best that friends. Was... They did. I was really. Oh, I was hoping she'd make another appearance they, at like, some ma- point. Make yeah. But we think she froze to death. Or yeah, like they're, they're besties. So um, it's a great duo costume. I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? The explorer that survived. <laughs> I'm this girl from Alien vs. Predator. Cool. That's um, okay. But uh, and I might have talked about it in the full review. But that was the thing in the com in the comic version. He does team up with a girl, but like it's done better. Like there, there's kind of like a build up. Literally in Alien vs. Predator, he's like, "Oh wow, he killed an alien with the stick. We're best friends now." And then that that heartwarming moment they have at the yeah. end, like they've known each other for twenty minutes, and literally 
21 minutes ago. She thought he was going to murder her. Like, mm-hmm. this is, they they tried their best, but they fucked it up. Remember uh, he showed his face? Cut to you the reaction. You say that so endearingly, like, <laughs> cut, oh, it's cut like, to no, the reaction. No, oh. this is my favorite thing in a commentary track. <laughs> cut to Casey's reaction of the face reveal. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh I'm gonna cry I can't I can't I can't I can't I can't so Alec Gillis and Tom Woodruff Jr. Mm-hmm. who apparently are now splitting up more on that later I think so uh, Studio ADI, the effects company, this was their, f- they've done the Alien movies before this. Okay. They worked on the second one and then their studio did Alien 3 and Alien Resurrection. So they were good with the aliens. The aliens are lit pretty bad in this and they look a little rubbery, but mm. that's not mm. their fault. That's not their fault. Uh, this was their first attempt at Predators and I don't know what direction they got, but holy shit, that Predator <laughs> face was awful. <laughs> I remember like waiting the whole movie and when he took the mask off, I went, oh my God. Like I was like, no, oh, it's the derpy. It's one of the derpiest yes. faces I've ever seen. Yeah, it's pretty crab-like. He's like a yeah. baby. Yeah, he really He's like a- By the way, so what did you think of the Predators in this in this movie? Like they're way too bulky, right? In Predators. No, no, in um, Alien versus Predator. In Alien versus, uh, I wouldn't say they're too bulky. I think they're, they're too bulky. They're they're thick. I like. All right. Well, are they, like are the they thick or are they bulky? <laughs> they're a little bit of both. They're a little oh, bit of both. I'm having all husky. Right. Husky. They're husky. They're husky. All right. I, I think we theorized that uh, they put on blubber because they were in a cold environment. <laughs> no, they're just strong. I'll, I'll take that one. Yeah. Or or muscle build up from hanging out in the ice yeah. so long, just like ah, I gotta get my reps in. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what what the hell they do on their downtime. They seem to have a lot of it. Um, I I didn't like how fast <laughs> they were taken out by the aliens. One alien kills two of them. Yeah, it's like what? That's not because when you read the comics and stuff, it's usually a predator versus like a bunch of aliens. There's not many one on one fights really. Yeah. And then to, to see an and I'm an alien fan. I'm a mm-hmm. bigger alien fan. But even I was like, oh, that doesn't that doesn't make sense. I don't think the aliens should right. win that fast. No, I don't He's like, like the that they're boss. in a cold environment. I think that's stupid. The plot's really bad. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What do you? The there is there's a plot. Yeah. Yes. You're, you're telling me. I like a plot. the backstory of the predators were like the gods to this yeah. ancient civilization. Mm-hmm. But didn't they like in that demo explode everything? Therefore there wouldn't be any That of was a different that was a exist. different that was a different city. That was I don't know the Mayans, the Aztec, I don't okay. know. Okay, yeah. I think it's implied they had they had temples all over the place Under, and this must yeah. be the last one. Yes. And they're like it happens every, this is the confusing part. They're like it happens every 100 years. And I guess 100 years ago the whaling village that was there, they fought them. And it's like, well, what did they do cuz no one was in Alaska like 500 right. years ago. Yeah. Like, what, what have they been doing every hundred years before that? The plot's stupid. The cold setting is dumb. It mm. doesn't work for predators. No. Uh, I d- I don't enjoy it. I like to make fun of it. I like to make fun of it. And I will admit there is some. It's PG thirteen. That's a yeah, problem. Uh, a there problem. is some alien gore with like the heads coming out. They have yeah. the alien brain. That's cool. But I think as a predator movie goes, this is these are very lame predators. Yeah. Even though I know you love them and you you wanted them to be best friends and get married <laughs> oh. at the end. <laughs> yeah, I. Re- <laughs> they, they were, were a great team. New, they're trying out new things, you know. <laughs> just them on the sled together. That's just burned into my. The phone. quality of predators versus aliens for me just like exceeds so much. I mean, they have like dogs, so like. And they why have don't dogs, they, like they're so just why like don't us. They have the dogs are coming. People, the, do- the dogs are you know, coming. We'll get people there. as dogs, like the, the, <laughs> no. If they've been going to all these planets, you know, yeah. they could pick up a couple dog-like species That's every true. now and then. Now, now, alien versus predator comes out. Fans are not happy. Uh huh. I'm Understandably. not happy. Yeah, huh. I'm telling everyone in uh, what was it freshman year, freshman or sophomore year? I'm yeah. letting everyone know that I hate the movie, mm-hmm. and I'm telling everyone I can find that it's bad. And then I'm wondering why girls don't want to talk to me. Mm. So I don't know. Maybe those two are connected. Uh, Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> I'm like they ruined the lore of the aliens, and they'd be like, "What's an alien?" Uh, <laughs> Is that Independence Day? Will Smith, right? So years later. They're making Alien vs. Predator Requiem. Mm.
We had to Google what Requiem meant. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Repeat, right? <laughs> Hold on. Requiem for a dream. Now, now, l- let me know. Let me, you know, we've, it's been a while since we Googled this. Let's see. Requiem. This is, okay. uh, this is definition number one. Mm-hmm. A mass for the repose of the souls of the dead. Um, repeat that again. <laughs> a mass for the repose of the souls of the dead. Definition two: a musical compos- composition setting parts of a requiem mass or of a similar character. Definition three: an act of token or remembrance. Well, maybe this movie was like, "Wow, I remember when these franchises were good." Maybe that's what it meant. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's a token. Right there so, so itself. this movie comes out in two thousand seven. Uh, the trailer they put out at the Comic Con was yeah. awesome. It was all out of context action and gore because that was the thing. People were like, "It can't be PG thirteen again." So they're like, "No, this one's gonna be rated R." And they put out the sizzle reel of just all the gore scenes in the movie. And I was seventeen or whatever, and I I was dumb enough to fall for it. So I'm like, "This will fix it." Uh, Alien vs. Predator is going to be good. Uh, How could It'll you? fix it. And then I went to see the movie by myself because no one wanted to see it with me. <laughs> oh my God. They knew. No one wanted to see it with And you. I remember walking out of that one going like, it was all right. You had a better reaction to that? I think I think this was, I think that I was also in denial. And I was in denial a little bit longer for this one because I thought it was going to be good. And I was just, I was upset that I was wrong twice that it wasn't it's good. So- uh, but yeah, the biggest problem, and I don't remember it being that bad in the theater, if memory serves right. Uh, but Tom, what do you think the biggest problem with this movie was? Mm-hmm. Can't fucking see anything. <laughs> right. No. How did you watch this? No problems at all. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, it's the darkest movie I've ever seen. Yeah, it is. That was actually... I, I did notice that, but I, that's just to like be cheap and hide all the stuff that they fucked but, messed up. But you think just, so? One hundred percent. They were just like, "Yo, effects. listen, we do not know what we're doing. Let's just make well, that, everything dark." No. That was the Boom. thing. The directors Problems were brothers solved. who did visual effects. Okay, they're visual effects guys, and we were talking. I think they used their company to do the visual effects. Mm-hmm. It's like, why wouldn't they want to show off their visual effects? They cover yeah. everything in the darkness. Yeah. Well, the, the cinematographer. I'm not. You, you know who that is, right? Which one did he? Yeah, you told me that. He him. did the the requiem. It's actually the same cinematographer from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre oh. and the Texas Chainsaw Massacre reboot. Oh, like, shit. the cinematographer did <laughs> requiem. <laughs> <laughs> Why? We we watched a behind the scenes video. Yeah. Okay. So Studio Eighty I they did the effects again. Uh, their predators look way better in this one. Not that you could fucking see them, but if you look up picture. <laughs> Yeah. If you look up a picture of what their predators uh-huh. look like, they mm-hmm. look really good. Uh, but we watched a behind the scenes video. Uh, it's the scene where the alien jumps through the window, and there's literally the cinematographer's there with his light meter. He's like, We need more light. It's not bright enough. What the? F-? So it was definitely an issue they were having on set. Okay. And they, they put like flashlights in the scene because they're like, We can't see anything. Yeah. See, I was um, upset it didn't attack in slow motion. Like, I was expecting it yeah. after the last movie. I'm like, yeah. all, all of the face huggers are slow motion. Did now, you like did you... that, by the way? The slow motion part? Yeah. I, it was a nice little touch. I liked it, too. It was a nice mm, little touch. Someone little, else said it. Little, little I guess I'm in the minority little, of the slow motion yeah. nice face huggers. Touch. I liked it, the suspense. The I'm sorry. Uh, now, the <laughs> predator in this movie is cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the wolf predator. Mm-hmm. Do you remember why he's called the wolf predator? Oh, don't quiz me. <laughs> I just remember him mocking the other one. No, the pred alien mocked oh. the wolf predator. wolf predator. The wolf predator is the main predator in the movie. The reason he's called wolf is because he's there to clean up a mess like the character wolf in Pulp Fiction, the one that Harvey Keitel played. That's, that's a deep fucking that's reference. How do you know that? The director said it. Wow. That's <laughs> a stretch. Why? This is the only time we see the predator homeworld. In the very beginning, yeah. it cuts to him yeah. getting the message. And that, was, it's like, that was a little bit weird. They have weird rectangular buildings and lava waterfalls. I'm like, <laughs> man, that place looks like it sucks. No wonder they go all over. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't very good on their part, actually. No, yeah. Uh, he's kind of in his own little movie. It's like it's like the Predator's own, on his own movie, Hunting the Aliens, yeah. and then it's all this melodrama. With, oh, like, it's so that, annoying. Oh, that is so uh, that's why I was going to say you should have taken a date to this movie because I think 
we yeah, could, the, it would have been able. Yeah, yeah, this is a good like makeout movie because you don't. Yeah, watch exactly. It. You don't want to watch it. You're <laughs> there. Was, you're uh, in the theater. You're like, yeah. I this was is... seeing a girl at a time. Yeah. And I was gonna bring her, but I think she was cheating on me. So thanks for bringing those memories up, Casey. Oh my gosh. Uh... <laughs> and we're talking about this movie. <laughs> So, what so a, bad characters, bad acting. Yeah, we legit. So I <laughs> watched memories. when we were editing. When I was editing the commentary track, yes. there are two different white guys that look alike, and we kept getting confused that they were the oh. same white guy. No. So there's there's Dallas, who's the guy who just got out of jail, and he's mm. friends with the sheriff. Yeah. But then there's a white he just cop. Popped oh up yeah, out of you are. <laughs> there is a white cop who's also in scenes with the sheriff who looks kind of like the Dallas who's guy. Who just like, disappeared. And yeah, who's in got... and out of the movie. Yeah. Didn't you keep thinking he was a cop? The out-of-prison guy? I had no idea who he was. I thought he just like was like <laughs> plot dropped into the movie like, hey. Just like Predator. Well, because Drop the one guy's like, oh, I got beat up. They threw away my keys. <laughs> Let's go take him. Yeah, let's, who are let's you? get him. <laughs> who are you? Who are you? This guy's very like reluctant to give you this gun. He clearly knows uh, that you're not going to make good decisions, but he's also scared of you. Yeah. So it's like, oh, okay, cool. This that's just this character, just badass for no reason, I guess. This movie yeah. actually has some pretty big fans. Cause would you consider this a B movie? A B movie? I still don't. Because it's kind of like the framework of like if you look at just like the kids and stuff, right. it's kind of framed as like a slasher movie. Yes, I consider it a Joss Whedon film. <laughs> That's what I really just always I come back to him when I think of this movie, and I don't know why. Because <laughs> yeah. it's like Cabin in the Woods. That's how I felt. Well, but I, I'm I, not comparing it to that movie. I told you, <laughs> Joss Whedon. <laughs> amazing. Joss Whedon wrote movie. Alien Resurrection. Yeah, and which he, is crazy. He does not like that movie. He. Oh. He blames everyone else for that movie being bad. It's like, all right, your script wasn't the best, buddy. What is it like a Schumacher problem? <laughs> I think it was one of those. Okay. Um, yeah, the movie is very like schlocky slasher stuff. Like mm -hmm. fucking, oh, I'm gonna have sex with you at the school pool for some reason, and I'm wearing two different. That's where suits. kids go. Yeah, that's where. When I was a teenager, I'm like, well, I know I'm gonna <laughs> go to the school pool, which is hard because my school didn't have a pool. Yeah, so <laughs> it was Very really hard. Mind it either. <laughs> so I had to find a school with a pool. <laughs> I'm pretty sure most people that age are trying desperately to avoid school. Really? Yeah, really. You don't yeah. just think, oh, I've been there for like eight hours. Shit, that's let's why, go back. That's why originally I thought she was setting him up. I didn't think she was actually uh, interested. I, that, so. that makes sense, actually. Yeah, because she could turn out to be a bitch. Yeah. yeah. Well, I liked her. Now, Death. oh wait, what version of the movie did you watch? The the one where she dies. Well, she definitely dies. Were you watching? <laughs> that was... Did you stream it like on Hulu or something? Uh, yeah. Okay, so in the unrated cut, I think in the regular version, she just gets pinned up on the wall yep. from mm -hmm. the blades. Yeah. In the unrated cut, the camera cuts and you see the bottom half of her body just slide down the wall and her guts spill out. See, I'm a little upset. I didn't see that. That's kind of cool. Yeah. But like, it was so unexpected. Like, I did not expect, I'm like, oh, like, once they're all in, like, the gun shop together, I'm like, all right, this is the core group, maybe weirdo guy that's yeah. su super badass, no backstory guy, he's he's gonna, he'll be fine, yeah. the chick will be fine, the little guy, the pizza guy, he'll be fine, I'm thinking all these things, I'm like, like this is the core group. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's just like, nah, done, done, yeah. done. So, so, so growing up, like, thinking of aliens and predators, you're like, man... Look, I would love to see that on film, them on like crazy alien worlds fighting. And then you watch this movie and they're like, oh, they're in the, the sporting goods store. Never in a million years of all the pictures I drew of aliens fighting predators were they were they in like a uh, dick sporting goods. It's very amateur. <laughs> it is. And again, they, like, at least the first movie, as much as I don't like it, they gave you like a weird, cool pyramid. Yes. They tried. They didn't try hard enough. But then this one, they're like, no, this is even cheaper. We're in the woods now. And it's like, well, I make movies in the woods because I'm broke. Why are you making these movies in the woods? <laughs> they kept changing locations, too. I think they said they're like, oh, we're in uh, Colorado Springs. And it's just like, oh, no, we're in Gunnison. And I'm like, uh, wait why? a second. Isn't that like six or eight hours so away? why is the sewer entrance like in the mountains? Yeah. I, it's, that was bizarre, right? Is it, is it like a, just a mistake that they said Colorado Springs a few times? They're like, ah, oh, shit. I don't have said know. said that. What did you think of the Pred Alien? It's just it was so covered in whatever they had it covered in. I, I feel like I could barely identify it unless yeah. it was yeah. in Predator mode. And I'm yes, like, that's a when, Pred when Alien. Right. All right, Predator now that Vision. It's yeah. colored differently. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And then I can actually tell. Yeah. If but... you actually look a picture of it up, which I actually have the mask in there, it actually looks pretty awesome. Okay. 
and it's just not it's actually yellow it is yellow it's like this oh. tannish yellow okay and you cannot tell in the no. finish. Yeah, it's like know. black in the finished uh -huh. product it's, it looks like it's just covered in ooze like do, yeah do the aliens mm. sweat a lot what is that? Yeah, no, the aliens always... are always dripping. Okay, they're always dripping. I, that's just what I thought. I'm just making yeah, they're sure. always, they're they're like always a... covered in like they're always they're literally slimy. covered in KY yeah. jelly. Like, that they're is always like... slimy. Yeah, I just they're super. That was my problem with AVP. The first one, mm -hmm. they're like they not were, gooey, they so were they not, look rubber. They needed to be mm -hmm. slimier. They I needed understand. to be slimier. They <laughs> needed nice to be glaze. <laughs> we can clearly see this. <laughs> oh, don't say, don't say cover it. Ew, cover it. Ew, 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 What? Look, we were already treaded on gross territory, but that was really gross. Keep it in. I said slime. What do you? <laughs> what I said. She said glaze. Oh. I was like, yeah, no, glaze. no. A glaze of slime. Yeah. So this movie comes out. No one sees it. I guess it turns a profit. Like the first one was a huge hit. Yeah. And then they tried this one. They put it out at Christmas. Not the time I would put this movie out. The other one, maybe. No, the other one was summer. That's the time you put this movie. Well, yeah, because it's an act. You don't go Touché. to the movies with your family to see Requiem. No. <laughs> yeah. It's just like, oh, mom, dad, come on, let's all go down well, to he the saw local the other cinema. One with his I saw the first one with my family. The second one was just me. And the second one was just me. All was my all my friends off. and family were smarter than me in that yeah. situation. Yeah. Yes, they were. Uh, yeah, no. But you know what? It wasn't the film I hated most in two thousand seven. Okay. Uh, your boy Rob ruined my 2000. No. Yes. no, 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 no. He's wrong. Rob Zombie's Halloween. Oh. That was worse. You know, maybe wait, that wait, whoa, 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 whoa. That was worse than Requiem? Yeah, excuse us. There yeah, was that's a, worse. That's there worse was at least a, some semblance of a story in that movie. <laughs> not a good one. I didn't. I like ar that. I'm not arguing that. I'm just <laughs> I'm arguing that, like, you can actually watch that. Yeah. This is not something I can. I had difficulty. But yeah. I, think I think maybe that's awesome. why I was more apologetic for AVP Resurre uh, Resurrection Requiem because I was still reeling with seething hatred over Rob Zombie's Halloween. Oh I'm like, well, goodness. I can't hate. I can't Dramatic. hate two things this year. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, movie's not good. So <laughs> Predator goes away, and I thought it was dead. I thought Predator was dead because Predator was never the strong franchise. Like even the original movie just did okay. Uh huh. Uh, it since be, it became even more famous, but yeah. the second one didn't do super well financially. AVP they got lucky. The second one did whatever. So I thought Predator was gone, and then Rodriguez, Robert Rodriguez, mm -hmm. and his production company, he was supposed to do a Predator movie in the nineties. Oh, like he was developing one right after Desperado. But then it would have been like Spy Kids, like not. not no, the, no, in the nineties it would have been awesome. 90s Rodriguez, it would have been awesome. Yeah, but like uh -huh. that era t to these kind of effects. Yeah. Uh... No, he wouldn't have made Predator as Spy Kids. Come on. Spy Kids is what he does for his kids. Well, it's just amazing. no, I know, but like what it looked like at that time is what he was trying to achieve. If he had tried to execute that <laughs> at that time with what he had, it would have looked uh, well, it like a been, cheap Well, it wouldn't have been this movie. movie. It would have been something else. Yeah. Uh, but no, 90s Rodriguez, like from Dust Till Dawn, oh, Desperado. Yeah. I would have loved to have seen that movie. Yeah, so that It would have awesome. felt more like the second one, yes. I think. Directed by, it's spelled Nimrod, but I feel like I'm making fun <laughs> of him. I think it's pronounced differently. Nimrod? <laughs> Yeah, it's got like a thing over it. It's like Nimrod, Nimrod. Antel, or Atel, Antel, Atel. The guy did No Vacancy. Mm -hmm. Which oh, I that, saw that. Is that movie yeah. good? I don't remember. Yeah. It's a movie. I, I, don't, I don't really remember it, which is usually a good thing. Because <laughs> if I if I remember it, it's like, oh, it's not for a good reason. <laughs> <laughs> but fun fact about Tom. Uh, me oh. and Tom years ago, we watched Thor The Dark World. <sighs> oh, oh, no. And Tom... A, f a few weeks later, we're hanging out. He's like, oh, I never got around to seeing Thor 2, and you have it. Can we watch it? I'm like, Tom, we we watched it. He's like, no, I did not watch Thor 2. I'm like, no, Tom, we you, we watched it. You, like, it. I don't know what happened. You, were you in an accident that no, week? No, I still don't think I've seen it. Like, I think, uh, I've definitely seen it, Because I think anyone um, asked me what happened. Our friend Sandra, we had to explain to you. Uh -huh. Like, no, Tom, we all sat in this room and put the movie wow. on, and we watched it. And you're like, nah, I don't remember. No, <laughs> no, it had that like so little of an impact on me oh. that it just my brain brilliant. was just like, nah, push this out, put some good, <laughs> put some good stuff in there, you know. It's like Watch Requiem. Black, they, like flashed his brain. Yeah, and he's like, I don't remember seeing that. No, nah, no, nah, I would, I would remember Requiem. <laughs> that's for sure. I will remember. So yeah, uh, Predators gets developed. Yes. I'm super skeptical this time. 
I'm like, nope, you're not tricking me again. Uh-huh. <laughs> you're not getting me a third time, you assholes. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I went out to see it with friends. Um, Did you see up. all these movies opening weekend? Yes. Oh, wow. So you gave them money. Yes. All right. Yes. And attention. Except for the newest one. Pray? Pray. Well, that's by default. Because I'm using someone else's Hulu account. Oh! <laughs> that's okay. I have a free trial. <gasps> yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, so Predators comes out, and it's supposed to be like a return to form. Uh, and I see it with my friends. And I actually enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. I think it was a little too safe, especially towards the end. Where, mm-hmm. what, what did you What did you think, Casey? Because you huh? like this one. Yeah, I like this one. What did, What did you like about it? I thought I felt I was in the Predator universe again, kind of like back to the first one. That's yeah, why this, I enjoyed it. This feels more Predator than the ABP yeah. movies did for sure. It was like the Breakfast Club meets Predator. That's what I thought. <laughs> what a perfect comparison. Yeah. yeah. They, that's the one issue with this movie. So I like some of the stuff they do to change, like not change the lore, but expand the lore. So I like that yeah. they're finally telling you. I mean, nerds knew because we had the toys and shit. You must just not have gotten around to buying the toys in the 90s. I no have problem. This. <laughs> yeah, you have Governor Schwarzenegger. <laughs> um, but I like how the movie establishes, like, yeah, there's different types of predators. They're not all kind of yeah. like yes. the same. Uh, like genetically, they are very different. Like they're super predators. And it was more horror for me because I'm not yes. really much of a sci-fi person, and the other ones felt so much sci-fi driven. Uh-huh. And this yeah. just brought it all back for yeah, me. This, this was almost have... like a and I wanted to live there. <laughs> like a thriller, yeah. almost like a suspense, yeah. in my yeah. opinion. I and I like how like uh, we're seeing different ways they hunt. Mm-hmm. So it's like, hey, sometimes they go to other planets, but also they have this game preserve planet. It's not their home world. People yeah. think it's their home world. No, and it's like, and they just find like. The like most a, violent things in the universe that just drop them off. Uh, yeah, and I have the that, decency to give them parachutes. That sometimes don't work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what would have been really funny? If he like splattered and then the shoot popped out. Like that would have been, a, that probably would have been too funny. Two on the nose, two on the no. nose. Like bang. <laughs> No. That should have been the post credit sequence. It cuts back to the dead <laughs> and body and then the parachute <laughs> opens. Well, I think good. only we could appreciate that, though. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, what did you think of Adrian Brody as the hero? I thought that was a weird casting choice back I, in the yeah. day. I thought he was he was good in it. Honestly, yeah. I was. It was good acting. I thought I, I was taken in by it. I mean, it wasn't what I would expect from him. Like when yeah. I look at him, I'm just like, that's yes. not the guy that saves me. But he <laughs> yeah. he per- he performed it well, I think. Yeah. Like he definitely came across as like, all right, this is the guy of all the guys not to mess with. This that's is the, the guy. guy not to mm-hmm. mess with. You got Danny Trejo. It's got a great cast. Yeah, it does. Oh, it does. Danny Trejo. Oh, so happy to see uh, that. He so was happy. doing this around the time of Machete, so I, that's why I think he's not in the movie that long. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, Alice Braga's in it as the sniper. Uh, she's a sniper. <sighs> There's a sniper in yeah, the next movie. I was gonna... They remind you four times. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, Walter Goggins. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to try and say his name right. I get it wrong all the time. Mahershala Ali. Mahershala. Mahershala oh, Ali. I, I, I Googled it a couple times By the way, to make sure. In this movie, he was using his full first name still. Yeah. I think after this movie, he abbreviated it more. Because we yeah. looked at the yes, credits and so like, whoa, that name's way longer. I think it was spelled... Wrong a few times in it. Yeah. Just all different ways. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm uh, not surprised. He's in it. Uh, what did you think of Topher Grace? Uh. <laughs> uh, I thought uh. the character Topher Grace played was perfect for him. Did you know from the beginning, though? No. Okay, because it I actually, feel like, like they were I, deliberately telling us that he is I, not. I think good. it was not the first clue when he was talking about the flower that'll kill you in an instant. It was when he was like, oh, that special fluid will knock you out for at least 42 minutes exactly. Mm. And it's yeah. like, that's. Oddly specific to know about that. The so first I, one, whatever. You I know, was telling but. her the way it's cut now, there is a bit of a like a uh, an error because Royce, the main character, uh, he says that he's suspicious of him because he doesn't fit in. And there was a deleted scene where he questions him. Yeah. And Topher Grace is just like, hey, I took a lot of drugs and I ended up killing a woman that I was operating on because hmm. I hallucinated. And that's supposed to like make Royce be like, oh, so that's why you were picked. All right, goodbye. But now I'm thinking, I'm like, well, we find out that he's just a murderer, so he's lying. Yeah. But if uh-huh. that was a true story, it's like, do the predators just hang out in operating rooms, like in cloak, <laughs> just watching? Well, how do they find these people? Once again, I'm coming back to that. How yeah. do they find these things? Um, well, we found out in this, they have like little drones. So they probably like cloak drones and have them follow people around the world. That 
makes are sense we being to cover up that. Do you think that. that they're doing like good for humanity, like bringing all the bad people to where they are? That's why it always comes back to that's why I like predators. Like, <laughs> yeah, they're the heroes. They're, just, they're the animal. heroes. Well, this this movie was trying to show you that not all mass murderers are bad people, such as the, <laughs> the sniper character. Like that. That's, like she's just like, oh, she's okay. Yeah. She killed a whole bunch we of people, but like she didn't feel good about it, so. <laughs> This like, is she passed. This is the same issue Alien Three had, where like it's a prison full of like rapists or murderers, and there's literally Walter Goggins of this character says he wants to go home and rape people. Yeah. Oh my god. And like, and they were like, there's and a Topher couple. Grace has that exchange, the most awkward. Exchange. Yeah. There's a couple that are just military following orders, <laughs> whatever. But like Danny Trejo's like, yeah, we put people in oil drums and light them on fire. Then uh, the other guy, the African guy, he's like, oh yeah, we string people up and torture them, and it's like. And then as you're watching, it's like, gee, I hope they don't die. It's like, well, it's hard yeah. for me to feel bad for these guys. Yeah. And the predators were protecting us. Yes. But you're um, supposed to feel bad for the girl. She's, yeah. she's, she's the good kind of murderer. Yeah. She's the good kind of murderer. According to the movie, that's all I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, I love the best parts of this movie are Lawrence Fishburne. Oh, yeah. You, you only enjoyed five minutes of the movie? No, no. I saying? mean, like, <laughs> I like the whole movie. But I love that, like, in because we haven't seen that yet. Someone who's been dealing with predators yeah. for like who knows how many years, like yeah. even he doesn't know. Yeah, the first time uh, I saw a human in a in one of those yeah. suits, so. and he's like using their technology, which mm -hmm. is cool. Uh, I like that he put the predator mask onto a samurai helmet. I just love that he was crazy. I'm like, that's awesome. That is a right. unit. That's a cool thing. Uh, and I love that the predators even hate him because like <laughs> that fucker keeps avoiding us. <laughs> Um, yeah, and uh, speaking of things we haven't seen, we haven't seen predators fight other predators yet. Mm -hmm. And your best friend is in this movie. Yeah. <laughs> who's, My BFF. Who's your best friend? <laughs> Derek Mears. Who's that? He the played predator. Jason in the Friday 13th reboot. And he's in a bunch oh, of... Oh, yeah. He's, ah. he's not Tyler. When you can't get Tyler Maine, you get, <laughs> you get okay. Derek thing. Mears. Oh, okay. In the new Swamp Thing. So he's the, the classic looking predator that they have strung up. He played that guy. Yeah. And uh, K&B did the effects for this. The guys who do, like, the Evil Dead movies. Okay. Yeah, I thought the um, effects looked really good. Yeah, these effects, like, look, I love Studio ADI, but I think K&B did a way better job for Predators. That's great. Uh-huh. Uh, they look spot on. Uh, some people are split on the Super Predators. I like them. The Super pre Like, what's your definition of a Super Predator? The, so, Derek Mears, the one that's strung up, that's, like, mm -hmm. a regular Predator that yeah. we're used to, and then the other three are the Super Predators. Okay. I wasn't I, sure if we were talking about the Mega Predator, but that didn't... No, no, no. That's the next yet. movie. Okay. Is the, it, that's called Upgrade Predator. I'm just, sorry, I just <laughs> wanted to clarify. Yes. I, I thought said this... Super Predator, and I was thinking, oh, that's big, stupid thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. no, no. So, yeah. what did you okay. think of him? This design was, I think, one of my favorites. Because I, I like the skull and the teeth. Yeah, I like that he puts the jawbone yeah. on his mask. Yeah. Um, I like their face. When he takes mm -hmm. that face off, like, that was the first time since the first film that, like, I, like, jumped at a yeah, predator you're face. Scared. Yes, I, I was scared. I cried. <laughs> I cried. And Casey was like, it's okay. And then she called me a pussy. Um, I don't, I, I spelled I, it for I you. Well, listen, that. listen, <laughs> Casey, I could be lying. And the only way people could find out if I'm telling the truth or not is if they sign up for Patreon and listen to our commentary track for Predators. Did I cry? Find out. Um, yeah, I love those super Predator yeah. face. I love the whole fight that they had. My only issue with the film is they repeat lines of dialogue. Kill me, I'm here. Do it. Kill me. I'm here. I'm here. Kill me. Better than AVP, though. Oh, where they God. put them in. You are ugly, mother. Get to the chopper. Yeah, that one. <laughs> That's not in this one. They did, no. they did it in AVP Requiem. <sighs> Get to the chopper. Yeah, I think the ending is just a little too similar to the first one where he's using the mud and the fire. It's like, well, we kind of seen yeah. this. And the overall plot, even though they set in a new environment, they add additional stakes, it does feel just a little too similar to the first one. I don't know. That That's just me. Well, that can almost be a compliment at the same time. Right. You know that what could I mean? be. They played it safe. Yeah. They, but this is the Force Awakens of Predator movies. They played it that's very perfect. safe. Uh, yeah, I that agree. That makes sense. So yeah. Let's bring I it back, but good. let's like really make sure they like it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's it's actually impressive. like, let's let's try. I don't think they played on, it as safe as Force Awakens, but they, they played Whoa. it safe. Same movie. Where Force Awakens, like, oh, another <laughs> giant death sphere? Yeah. Cool. So that's three so far. This one's, this one's different. <laughs> For whatever reason, it still didn't strike a chord with 
most audiences. Yeah. Oh. A lot of people slept on it. A lot yeah. of people slept on it. Yeah. Uh, so Predator goes away again. Mm-hmm. I mean, I enjoyed it. Yeah, I, I actually it. saw yeah, it I when like it came one. out. Like, I was slightly, because after, you know, Predator, AVP, I'm yeah. like, all right. Third, third time's a charm. Third time's a charm. Third time's a charm. <laughs> now, you uh, kept telling me that they were bad, so I was just expecting not to like it. And then um, as I'm watching it, I'm just like, this wait, is this good. One? Yeah. I didn't tell you this one. No, no, no I got them mixed up. Oh, yeah. And I was like, oh, this is actually good. Up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so again, it goes away. And now pr- The Predator gets announced. And Shane Black is directing, who was in the first Predator. He was uh, the script doctor for it, and he acted in the movie. The pussy joke guy, as I call him. Oh, God. The P-O-S-S-Y guy, guy, as Casey calls him. (laughs) Because apparently she spells out her swears and and obscenities. Uh, They announced that Fred Decker is writing. The guy did Monster Squad. And then I looked up his IMDb, and it's like, wait, his last big movie before this was RoboCop 3? A movie that sat on a shelf for three years? Like, that doesn't bode well. Uh, mm-hmm. But I like Fred Decker. I like Fred Decker. Yeah. And those two combining, I'm like, that's awesome. And they're doing the new Predator. You got this tie to the original. Shane Black, have you ever seen Kiss Kiss Bang Bang? Very good movie. That movie is great. Very good movie. That's one with Robert Downey Jr. and Val Kilmer. Put it on my list. They that, put that's, it on your list. That is a sleeper. Yeah. Like, you don't... That movie... It was not advertised properly. It's just like... No, no, no. So that was Shane Black. So Shane Black writes a bunch of movies. Lethal Weapons and all those. He's a very good writer. That was his directorial debut. He... So Iron Man is what made Robert Downey Jr. like a star again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kiss Kiss Bang Bang is what proved to studios that he was like a... Because it was after his whole drug thing where he Mm -hmm. cleaned up. That proved that he is still like a really good actor and could like nail a performance because he's... That is one of the funniest movies I've ever it's seen. That's one of the best scripts you'll ever see. Wow. Yeah. It's a very good movie. So Shane Black is killing it. Iron Man 3 comes out. Uh, Iron Man 3 gets made. John Favreau doesn't return. They get Shane Black to direct it. And it makes like a fucking billion dollars. And I like Iron Man 3. I know other people don't. I enjoy He writes and directs it. So I'm like, okay, cool. I think he wrote it. It's a Marvel That's movie. Awesome. It, it probably had 17 uncredited writers. Yeah, no. Yeah. It's like So sure. 30% of the movie's him. <laughs> Yeah, and then he has another movie in between that I didn't see. I think Russell Crowe was in it. And then The Predator. So this one, I was, this is the one where I'm like, all right, I'm not putting my guard up anymore. I believe in Shane Black. (laughs) This is great. It's going to be awesome. Uh I love Fred Decker. (laughs) There's nothing in the world that can make this go wrong. Uh, And then before I see the movie, I find out about all the production issues that they were having. Uh And I was like, "Uh uh-oh. Uh oh! They shot reshot the entire third act of the film. I was telling you, I told her the whole backstory, but the original like they were gonna team up with good guy predators against the bad predator, and they rode a tank together. And there's all these production stills you can see of like yeah. the humans and predators. They rode a tank together. They rode a tank oh. together and fought predator monsters that the evil predator that was sounds unleashing. Sounds great. Yes. It sounds stupid, but it sounds great. They, well, it sounds like fun, stupid. Yes. Yeah. Because uh, their goal, their goal with this, they're like, "Hey, why don't we try something different?" Which I appreciated the attempt because predators felt too safe for me. They're like, "Hey, we know they hunt and everything, but do they do, they do anything else?" And this was like their way of trying to like explore that of like this warring predator faction. Um, so the movie comes out. I I enjoyed it on my first go around, and we shot a review the same day we saw it. Don't do that. <laughs> don't. Do that. Wait a day or two. Uh, Because I was still high from the first half of the movie, which I really... Do you like the first half of this movie? Uh Uh-oh. Uh, oh. Did you like the first half Yeah, of this movie? I did. Yeah, the characters are fun. They are fun, and it goes back to, like, the original. Yeah. It, it took me a minute to get, like, to get, to <laughs> get thought... into it, like, the, the beginning. Really? Like, I just thought it was... It, I was kind of put off by the fact that they're like, yo... He's a predator and he's not cloaked. And I'm like, wait, this uh, is somebody stalking someone? Oh. I thought this was a predator movie and we we're gonna stalk somebody. So like yeah. you always start out like the formula yeah. for all the movies is pretty much the same. Like the predator comes in, like this how ha- oh, how did they die? No, they, they, they and this broke- one they're just like, F that <laughs> predator, another predator, yeah. ships. They, like, broke ah. the, they broke the formula. And which they is did. one and of the it, thing at and the it end. threw me off. <laughs> so yeah, uh, <laughs> in the beginning. So yeah, it's about a guy. He like finds the predator technology. He yeah. ships the evidence to his son, 
who's autistic. That's very important. The first half of the movie I still really enjoy because the characters are funny. I like Shane Black's witty dialogue. Mm -hmm. I know it's not for everyone. No, I'll, I'll admit there, this was the funniest. I did love this, where she's like, well, that's not really a predator. That's a game hunter. He's like, well, we took a poll and predator was cooler. I'm like, <laughs> All right, that's funny. Um, then they start introducing certain elements where like, oh, the predators actually manipulate their DNA with other species, which you, for some reason, Casey, during this whole journey, kept thinking that there was going to be a human predator at some point. They're like, <laughs> is that guy on the predator side? Is he becoming a predator? And I'm like, well, you're kind of close at the end. <laughs> I just expected that girl to come back at one point. Oh, Santa Lathan? Yes. Which, the Predator, they put a reference to Alien vs. Predator. They have her spear with the alien tail Aww. on it. Oh. Which is uh, funny. So she did. Which is funny because the alien movies that were coming out at the time, Prometheus and Alien Covenant, yeah. they're pretending that those movies don't exist. Yeah. And then the same studio puts out a Predator movie that's like, no, those movies do exist. Uh. It's like, you guys really. We're totally friends. <laughs> they're like, we're, we're, they're we're like friends. no wonder Disney bought you guys. You have no idea what's going on. <laughs> that actually uh, does get sidetracked. Uh, X-Men. X-Men Apocalypse, the Caliban character's in it, the pale guy. Caliban. But then he's also in Logan, played by a different character. Yeah. And people are like, wait. Mm. I thought that, for, like, at the but first the, watch, I thought that was the same. I know you don't know, I know you don't know what we're talking about. I'm sorry. But he's a, thought, he's a pale mutant. But no, no, this leech. is the funny thing. People asked, like, because well, Logan came out afterwards, like, hey, so is he like the one in that? Like, well, what, what, what's the connection? And then he just said... We didn't talk to each other. They're like they're like the the comp the people who were making both movies were not in communication, oh. so they accidentally used the same character, got two different actors to play him, and made them completely different, and then released it a year apart. So Fox was in a, like a shit show when Disney bought them. I think. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, Pay I attention, people. I couldn't believe that happened. I'm like, wow, they really just. You think it's a phone call? Like, hey, are you using this character? No. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Again, I enjoyed the first half. the The DNA was weird. I hated the big CGI predator. Mm -hmm. I hated it. I think he has contacts in, and that's instead of having a helmet. The big one. The big the, one. The, the normal, upgrade, the, yes. The okay, giant one. I just want to clarify, because I thought he was badass. Uh, really? <laughs> yeah. I want to really? see some stupid giant predator just like, yeah, I'm going to rip your skull. Wow. It's just it's so stupid. It's great. I didn't like it. Wherever they were located. <laughs> yes. I like the dog, so. The dog. Did you like the Predator Dogs? The Predator Dogs? Yeah, so the previous movie just Well, has... the, the Predator Dogs in Predators, I yeah. thought were badass. Yeah. Because they were like... They have like the big bony bone. Like, that was cool. And then these ones were just like... But these are like <laughs> dogs with Predator faces. Yeah. yeah. So, so and let's again, give them dreadlocks. Now again, it's a Predator. The movie we were going to get, there were going to be... There was like a Predator monkey, a Predator spider. Oh. There were so many other mm. Predators they designed. That would be so stupid just releasing spiders. Are you kidding? Ah. No, I'm not kidding. Uh. Studio 80s, I, they released their no. concept art. Uh, and people keep How thinking so thing is a we, predator spider. I'm sorry. Now I'm just caught up on that. Yeah, we live in this era of like alternate cuts now where everyone thinks that there's a secret alternate cut for every movie. Mm -hmm. And the biggest example was the Snyder cut of Justice League. They're right. like, they have it. They got to release it. They got to release it. Yeah. And they're so fucking stupid. Like, there was no cut. If there was a cut that they could just release, they wouldn't have spent $20 million finishing that movie. Yeah. <laughs> And that movie only got released because pandemic and Warner Brothers was like, well, people are asking for this. I guess we'll finish it. Yeah. But people are like, well, we got to release the alternate cut of Predator. I'm like, no, they probably shot the scenes. They probably did no visual effects work for it. And they're not going to pump money into it now because it fucking sucked and it flopped. Um, so the the villain from Logan, sorry to run yeah, back Boyd to that, Holbrook. is actually the, the blonde lead in this movie yes. too. And I'm just like, wait. Thomas what? Jane oh. is in this movie. Yeah, I thought that made me really happy. And Keegan Michael I saw Key, that, and I thought yeah. he was great. That was how I got my wife to watch it. I'm just like, oh, oh don't worry, it's got Keegan Michael Key. She's just like, oh, this will be fun. I'm like, ha -ha, got, got you. Uh, it has the asshole guy from John Wick who kills that puppy. I see. I just that's another thing I blot out in the memory, and it just goes right to Game of Thrones instead. Oh, he was in Game of Thrones. Yes, I didn't watch he was Game a of Thrones. very important Game of Thrones character for did numerous you see, seasons. Did you see John Wick? Spoiler, they kill a puppy. Oh. But that's okay. There's dogs in the sequels, and they survive. If you just watch And like, they kill people. There's a dog like the coming up first, in a... Yeah. Just skip the first talk. 10 minutes, and then... <laughs> All right. The movie's like... Skip the first 10 minutes, so, so it's just Keanu Reeves killing people, and you don't know why. <laughs> was, there's a whole was, website dedicated was, to it. Yeah, there is a if website for that. Does the dog survive? Yeah. <laughs> well, they did that for Thanos. You know what I mean? They're just... <laughs> when oh. They were thinking of how they're going to kill Thanos. So just oh, like, that was like oh, the joke. They're like, you killed John Wick's dog. You killed John Wick's dog. I don't know who that is. It's like, oh. Oh, um, Thanos, you're screwed. So yeah, I I like the wacky guys. Uh, 
what we were talking about, studio interference, breaking the formula. At the end, there's a hunt. The Predator types on his little computer, and he's like, we're going to do a hunt. The one called Matt Kenna. He will be your leader. He will be my prize. And it was like, why? It's because the studio said, you got to put a hunt in this. This is a Predator movie. And it's like, did you guys not read the script before you approved it? Like, you had the script. I feel like studio execs do that. I don't know if you have any insight on this, where they're like, <laughs> make this movie. And then they have all the information. They're never there. They're never no. there. And then they watch the movie and they're like, what? You did it wrong. I it's know. like, well, yeah. how are we supposed to? You had the information. <laughs> and again, Fox did this with the Fantastic Four reboot. They reshot the half of that movie. Oh, God. Yeah, God, was, what a shit show. They, they I would have loved to have uh, worked there and just saw a shit, new shit show every day. Um, we'll just go to Marvel now, apparently. Yeah. So we get this lame fight at the end. Well, uh, can, can I actually touch upon something that bothered me like a lot about okay. this movie? Yeah. Ventana. So in the beginning, when he had that little metal ball oh, yeah. that you touch <laughs> and it turns into a cloaking device. Yes. We're, we're all still on the same page. Okay. Yeah. He swallows it. So one, who in their right mind would think I could just swallow this alien technology yeah. that's extremely futuristic yeah. and has cloaking devices. This is a safe procedure. What happens if it like activated while it was inside of him? <laughs> that's what I was saying. What if he's just for. like taking a poop and it's just, just like phasing in and out? Like, Wait, would and, like, it only cloak, important would it parts. cloak like the inside of his skin? Like I'm would just he, no, like, the, the whole body. I just that <laughs> that I could not wait, get wait, over that. And it just like hangs out with the little ball later. That was the thing, dude. That was one of the things that like that's really bothered what bothered me. you. That you know what bothered me? Bothered. I'm like, I'm like, I think three or four days have gone by, and he's just shitting that thing yeah. out now. Yeah, that too. Like <laughs> at just, the end of the movie, he's like, wait, I gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> I'm like what? The they forgot about it. That that was something that just I did not understand fully. Yeah, I don't know how that's a big metal ball. I Ooh. that did not. That did not get digested. I don't know how it went through his system. Uh, not <laughs> safely. I, I still feel like it was just activating and deactivating while it was in his intestines. And he was yeah. just having trouble like throughout the day. Let me just put my mail away. Shit, I'm cloaked again. I don't know if Tom knows what the the alternate ones were. The whole mystery of was what was in this pod in the Predator ship. Yeah. What was the fugitive oh, right. Predator hiding from everyone? Mm. Mm -hmm. And then you find out at the end it's Iron Man Predator suit. What was your initial reaction to Iron Man Predator suit? Yeah, I didn't really process that. Did you see the Invisible Man? No. Okay. Um. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> For those but who I, did I, see I it, understand though, understand the premise. I know he has like a suit. I yeah. Know that. So yeah. I think they definitely got inspiration from this movie, and Probably. I didn't hate it. I'm just saying. <laughs> Wait, you didn't hate the Predator suit? I didn't. No. Uh, no, I didn't hate what was in there. Be but I do uh. think it. Should have activated on someone else. Like, yeah, it activates on the some random guy. person. What I do like is Jake Busey plays his dad's son. Yeah. He plays the Gary Busey character's son. Oh, wait. It's not a Predator movie unless a Busey dies. Yes. <gasps> like, uh, uh, I'm just saying. They leave it's it vague. Yeah. He should have been the guy at the end. Yeah. But, but that was clearly added. Wait, even Fred Decker, in his interview he did like a year later, he has no idea who wrote that ending. Mm. He's like, I've, he's like, we didn't write that. We don't know where that came from. Um, yeah, I totally is, just remember the Iron Man suit now. Yeah, Fred, sorry, I don't know why Fred I blocked Decker that is out. Very bitter over this movie. Like that interview he did is like so full of hatred <laughs> by what they did. Also, no. Olivia Munn's name in this is Casey. Oops, <laughs> it's Casey. And it's her? Did you think her intro was real clunky at bit. the dog park? She was yeah. supposed to deal with a guy who was flirting with her. Uh, and it was the director's friend, the actor. Oh, and then like two weeks before the movie came out, they're like, "Wait a minute." That guy tried to sleep with a 17-year-old niece and went to jail for it. And no one told yeah. Olivia Munn, and she found out and flipped out. So that's why her introduction, it's like close-ups of dogs, and then her going like, huh? And then getting in a car. <laughs> yeah, okay. They, just, they, just, all right, I'm just they made it work. <laughs> they made it work. They tried. No, they did not make it work. I'm I like, what the fuck are all these dogs? They don't need to try to like introduce a character with yeah. this yeah. movie. This movie's not about introducing things. It's about just... Having yeah. fun doing whatever there the hell are they some want fun that hasn't stuff been in done. this. Even toward the end, like them hanging on the spaceship, it's yeah. kind of fun. Doesn't it's really fun. feel like Predator. No, it's not kind at of. All. A, I don't like that. It looks like the Man of Steel ship. Yeah, that's it looks dumb. pretty stupid. But yeah, <laughs> uh, I don't. They kill the Predator. I, he's like, "What are you?" Try mm. to be like Arnold, then he just shoots him in the head. Mm -hmm. It's like okay, very very dumb. So in that pod, there, there were two different endings to the pod, Tom. Oh, what? Just guess. What do you think was initially in the pod? <laughs> 
an alien related weapon or something alien universe did you guess ripley from aliens <laughs> no because she was in the pod initially and they had a machine over her face but they had her name tag you know ripley from the future yes, I, know, I know i know i know she's in the future and she died well we don't know that the predators can't time travel i guess i we guess. don't know that now we just found out what planet they're on recently now 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 <laughs> the, the, he's never gonna predict this <laughs> he's never gonna predict this it's your wildest dream so ever. that so they decided that didn't work so they no, well they offered oh. <laughs> him to be in this movie as a small role and he oh. turned it down because oh, he said see, that's what yeah. i would want to see <laughs> no, because he said if he's going to do it, he wants a big part. And after those last two Terminator movies, I'm like, I'm done with mm. at old man Arnold. I'm done. Bye. Yeah. He's in the new video game. He voices Dutch <laughs> in the new video game. And he's, he's like, great in whatever he does. <laughs> well, in no. movies. There you go. <laughs> no. Let's just be more specific with that. <laughs> he Please. wasn't a good host of The Apprentice. <laughs> they canceled oh, that They canceled yeah, that they show. Yeah, they did cancel so, it. So what, so what, what else was, was it going to be? Okay, okay. So they were like, well, Ripley might not work. Uh-huh. How about grown-up Newt from Aliens who died as a little girl in the future, but now she's grown up and she also has a machine on her face so you can't see who she is. And then... Even if you could see who she, wa yeah, she was. Fred Decker said uh, they didn't want to do Ripley because Sigourney Weaver didn't want to commit to anything. And then he said, no one remembers who Newt is. So exactly. I don't wonder. I, it was weird they even attempted. Mm -hmm. I was like, why did they put like Adrian Brody in the pod? Yeah, no, no <laughs> one remembers Newt. No one wants to no. remember. It should have been cybernetic Arnold from the Alien vs. Predator that, arcade game where it's Arnold with the metal arm. That that could have been. That's a missed opportunity now yeah. that you mentioned it. I'll deal with. Uh, I would have dealt with it. It this still would have been stupid. already quite ridiculous. <laughs> they settled on Iron Man suit. And then everyone hated the movie. I liked the movie at first, and then I rewatched it on video. As soon as the Fusion Predator dies, that's where the movie loses me. Did that's it? where I think it gets <laughs> <laughs> like over the top. I'm like, what is this garbage? I love it. Give me more. You would have loved the emissary predators. The oh, good guy yeah. predators, they wear mil earth military oh, fatigues. God. Sometimes stupider is better. I was telling her Sometimes. they they didn't change their mind fast enough, so they already they you could buy toys of them. Yeah, it's one of those cases where the toys were oh already in development. <laughs> oh, no. So now people are like, oh wow! So you can literally go to Target. I'm like, look, I got a toy of something that wasn't in the movie. <laughs> mm -hmm. So yeah, the Predator. Everyone mostly hates it. Yeah, uh, it's pretty bad. The people who made it hate it. Uh, Really? It's really not that bad. Yeah, I don't think so it's we've, terrible. It's yeah. just not, you have to go at it not thinking, oh, this is going to be like, since they opened up, like seeing no. the Predator and all that, I immediately, I'm like, they're all formula. I can't expect this <laughs> it was to be like, a normal Predator movie. It was like already. AVP 2 vibes. Yeah, I think I would have liked it if they had stuck to the initial plan. Right. But as it is now, I enjoy all the shit talking in the beginning because mm -hmm. we yeah. don't get shit talking in movies anymore. No, that's fun. Casey didn't understand the one joke. That was what? funny. Listen to our commentary track. How do you circumcise a homeless man? Here it goes. Kick your mom in the chin. <laughs> Casey had like five <laughs> minutes trying to figure out that joke. I'm not gonna think about it right it's now. It's okay. I actually just got it just now after <laughs> hearing it. <laughs> now that, now that you, you say it out loud, I'm like, ah, I get it. So anyway, um, yeah, I and again, I didn't think they were doing another Predator movie after that, but then they announced Prey. Which is out now. Yeah. On Hulu and Disney Plus and Aww. Stars Plus, which I think is another international. Ooh. It's another thing that Disney owns. Cool. Um, made by Dan Trachenberg, mm -hmm. Philly boy, uh, who did 10 Cloverfield Lane. Yes. Which is really, really good. Yeah. Yeah. So they, they announced Prey. And this is what they should have done after Predator 2. Because this is what the comics did. Let's set the Predator in this time period and see how he deals with these people. Yeah. They don't even have to do it in the past. You could be like, hey, let's put the Predator in like the Middle East and see how he deals with soldiers over there. Yeah, let's put not? the Predator there. Like mm -hmm. putting Predators in different environments and time periods should have been the plan after Predator 2. For some reason, they didn't do that, really. Like even Predators, it's on an alien planet, but it still looks like the jungle. Right. Um, nobody wanted a pyramid. Uh, yeah, so. They set it in uh, 1719 mm -hmm. uh, with the Comanche Indians. 
Uh, and they have a they have like a all native cast. I think. Yes. Well, yeah. minus I, I believe the, it's like mostly. minus the French fur trappers. Yeah. Yeah, and I thought I'm like that is a really cool idea. Like Predator versus Native Americans, that'd be awesome. There's like mm-hmm. fan films. Like I think there's a. There's a fan film of like a predator like fighting like medieval knights, and it's actually oh, wow. I, I think so. I think it's medieval knights. It's actually really well produced. I've gotta see that. The best fan film is Batman versus Predator. Uh that's also a comic. Did you make that? No, no. Oh. This is one of the most famous fan films okay. ever. It's called Batman Dead End. But there actually was a Batman versus Predator comic, and I think mm. Batman wins at the end. He uses an oh. armor suit, and I think he beats the Predator with like a shovel or something. <laughs> like that's God. Batman with all his gadgets, he's reduced to a shovel, just hitting the Predator with a shovel. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure just like a flare, and then you can yeah. beat the predator. Pretty much, yeah. It's just like, oh, he can't see. All right, well, there you go. <laughs> Must I have can been just the... walk up and just <laughs> kill him now. Oh, we forgot to mention. Sorry, the predator. The predator wanted autism. That was the plot of the movie. Yes, I couldn't believe that. That's the plot of that the movie. That made no. So really, I understand, after... <laughs> but it's just why. There so was after forced. after you, I would love to be Dan Tracherberg. They're like, hey. You have to do a really good job yeah. with this one. What was the last movie about? The Predator one with autism. Like, well, you know, I think I can only go up from there. I <laughs> literally think. Yeah. Uh, no, it's a great idea for the Predator. Um, I love. We watched it the other night. Yeah. We really enjoyed it. I'm assuming it's a good you also. Time. Really yeah, really I, I watched it. it. Watched it last night, and I very it was, much enjoyed it. It was a really good time. I have. I have some nitpicks, but nothing like really big. Agreed. I think we have some of the same. Yeah, I have more nitpicks nitpicks with the predator, honestly. Yeah, like when he jumps uh, out, when he steals the cop car, and he just like jumps out and he does like the the diving gun action and ditches the cop. I'm like, why get the cop car? Sniper. Sorry, those things. Those things. I hang up on those things. I apologize. Remember they? Remember when they said get to the choppers and cut to the and it was the 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 motorcycles. Um, It's just ah. get to the choppers. So the story of prey is about our main character Naru. Played by Amber Midthunder. That's a cool fucking name, by the way. It is. Uh, who's like stunningly gorgeous, by the way. Uh, she looks exactly like Aubrey Plaza. Like if she it was does like kind of look like, like Aubrey Plaza. Or something. No. She looks like she could be a cousin or something. She. I was getting Aubrey Plaza. Uh huh. Hundred percent. I also like Aubrey Plaza. You got a problem with Aubrey Plaza? I do. <gasps> What's your what? problem with Aubrey Plaza? If I'm thinking of the right person. She's from uh, Scott Pilgrim. Yeah, no. But, well, all right, well, sorry. The Chucky that's... remake. She was the mom in the Chucky remake. Oh, yeah, no. I'm not a fan. You, what? Why don't you like her? You seen her in I don't Parks know. And Rec? Parks and Rec yeah, is probably no, like I'm her not... most. I don't like. Is she I too monotone know. for you? I Maybe. Love, and I like sarcastic. She is like a modern like... day Janine Garofalo, I think, yeah. uh, with the sarcastic monotone. I like her. Uh, yeah, was, it, was it the Grumpy Cat movie? You didn't think she was a good I voice? I didn't see that. <laughs> I just I don't watched. think you should compare this girl to her. I anyway. thought it was that wedding one anyway, with, I'm uh, really Adam DeMapp or whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah that think... one I was going to mention. Okay. I don't remember. They need wedding dates, something like that. with Zac Efron. Oh, yeah. I remember that one. Yeah. She. Oh, no, she didn't. Never mind. Anyway. Anyway, um, tangent. So the whole thing is the character Nara wants to prove herself as a hunter to all the men. Yes. Uh, and they don't think she can do it. And at the same time, as she's going on this journey, much like Casey's journey through the Predator movies, which you can get on <laughs> Patreon, uh, to prove herself as a hunter, there is, again, assumed that this is a young Predator who's yeah. also there for his like first well, Earth given, hunt. Given the, the date, you can definitely... Given that, well, I think it's just predators are always coming. There well, are. Do we know how old they get? Like hundreds of years. Okay. Yeah. I'm There's a misleading sure. trailer that's out now. They're like, this is the predator's first hunt on Earth, and it's like, yeah, it's like maybe maybe this particular predator, but no, it's implied yeah. they've been there for a long right. time. They help the Aztecs, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So they're both trying to prove themselves as hunters, which is mm-hmm. really cool. Now, uh. Since I am a, a, a neck bearded dude on YouTube, I got to call the movie Woke because a what? woman's in it. Oh. Here's the thing. So everyone's really mad. Like, not everyone. There are the assholes on the internet. So Hollywood made, like, a bunch of bad movies in a row, <laughs> like Ghostbusters 2016 yeah. and shit. They're and all these YouTube time. channels were shitting on it. And I guess I was one of them. I just didn't do it all the time because I didn't care. Uh, but now, like, that's become, like, their bread and butter. So there's all these YouTube channels that were already shitting on this movie. It's like, it's feminist, woke, propaganda. And now that the movie's out, they're like, oh, man, all the feminism, blah, blah, blah. But, like, we watched the movie, and there is a little bit of, like, a girl trying to prove herself to the guys thing. But that has nothing to do with feminism. Yeah, but not even, like, like feminism. But, like, it's just... it. What? It wasn't like a, it wasn't Ghostbusters 2016. No, this was a coming of age story, and I really enjoyed it. I liked it. And by <laughs> the way, it. and I have this theory, so... 
the Predator, through the course of this, we're ignoring AVP, he's gone against every action hero. And I think we talked about, like, in the 80s, muscle-bound dudes with guns were the action hero, uh-huh. and the Predator took him down, except for one. Then the 90s, the 90s, you have, this is after Lethal Weapon and Die Hard, you have the everyman cop who's in over his head. That was the action <laughs> hero of that genre. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Predators, you have the morally gray anti-hero with a past. Mm-hmm. Because you know we had like Dark Knight and a bunch of other movies like of these anti heroes. Yeah. It was like the dark gritty hero. Uh-huh. The Predator is the wacky team. Yeah. It because is. it was after Avengers, Guardians of the Galaxy, and all this stuff with like the wacky team people. But today's action hero is Tiny Woman, which is great for you, Casey. Uh, the final girl. <laughs> so people were really angry, and I'm like, well, no. If you look at it, there are other action movies that are just, like Tiny Women taking all things. I'm like. That's today's action hero, alien? whether you like it or not. It's alien? only appropriate that that is oh, what yeah, the Predator. Like, yeah, literally alien. Like, come on. I, yeah, I, alien. There's a huge yeah. list. But but um, but no, I solidly enjoy this film. I think the story is really, really good. Mm-hmm. I don't uh, think there was any hidden message in it that was woke. Well, there's one retcon. Well, not even a retcon. There's one thing they did where I rolled my eyes. Um, uh, we'll get into like the spoiler okay. area afterwards, but um, yeah. So what I like about this, it's a very simple hunt movie. Yeah. But they change it up enough because mm-hmm. it's a little bit more character driven than the other Predator movies. Yeah. Um, which I was kind of split on that because the other Predator movies, it starts big action sequence. Yeah. Predator picks his target, mm-hmm. and then there's a stalking. Uh, the hunt thing. In- ensues. This one's a little different. Like the Predator and the girl are like off on their own, and they kind of like stumble into each other. Yeah. It's like a meat cute. Like, it's the opposite of a meat cute. <laughs> well, he was just kind of like testing the grounds. Like, all right, well, yeah. that lion won't kill me. You know, let's, what about that bear? Nah, yeah. No, nah, I'm cool Ooh. with that bear. And too. Um, <laughs> yeah, people called her a Mary Sue. And she's not. Like, what is that? Yeah, I don't know what that is either, actually. <sighs> it's like, the, like a female character. I'm probably screwing up the definition a little bit, but it's like a female character who's like perfect in every way. And she doesn't need training, and she's already pre- like Ray from the new Star Wars. Mm-hmm. Okay, I thought I thought it was kind of overblown, but like when it comes to all the Force stuff, she just knows how to do it, it's and convenient. she's perfect at it. It's just convenient. Yeah, that or even like the tw- Ghostbusters 2016, they they are suddenly awesome and can do backflips and shoot oh. all these ghosts. So people are saying that I'm like, no, that actually doesn't work for this because they show she's not a good hunter uh-huh. and she's practicing throughout the movie mm-hmm. and honing her skills and. Uh-huh. And by the way, because she is tiny woman, no offense, she understands her limitations, so yeah. she knows she. And which, by the way, Arnold did that also. Arnold was the big <laughs> muscular guy, and he couldn't take on the predator, mm-hmm. he so he's like, knew. I have to come up with something else. So yeah. that was kind of cool. Uh, there's even more stakes with this because I'm pretty sure in real life, if the predator punched her in the face, she would just die. Ooh. By the way, she gets punched right in the face by a guy in this movie, which <laughs> yeah. you never see that in movies. Yeah. Like, yeah, so she's on this whole. Thing to prove herself, fight against the Predator. The Predator's like stalking and whatnot. The add in this other element of the fur trappers. Yeah. So for a higher body count. And overall, before we get into spoilers, mm-hmm. I liked it. It was good. I think we all agree, right? Yeah. Now, spoilers. Skip to whenever we do our ranking. Um, I'll put a time code down. What I didn't like in this movie. It wasn't too big of the music. It didn't sound like Predator music. That was too different for me. I did not, not like what you, it, though. What, how so? Well, like, the these two movies especially, because Alan Silvestri comes back for Predator 2. Okay. And it's good. But even The Predator and Predators, it sounds like the Predator mm-hmm. score. They, okay. they use the same music cues and stuff. Well, one of them sounds like Jaws. One of them sounds like Jaws. But uh, in this movie, they got, um, I forget her name. It was a woman who did the score. Uh, I'm sure I'm sure someone on YouTube is screaming yeah. about that right now. Uh, and it just it's good. The music's good. It just it doesn't feel like Predator. Okay. I think it had some pacing issues. What do you think? Didn't bother me. Really? I mean, there was Oh, you mean the movie or the score? The movie, the movie. The I thought movie. the beginning was a little slow, but I, I think like the character building, they could have sped up a little bit. It's like, mm-hmm. "All right, she has this tomahawk. She throws it. Oh, I can't <laughs> catch these rabbits." If there was only something I could figure out, let's tie a rope to it. I'm like, all right, that is kind of cool. I'm literally watching real time as she's figuring out how yeah. to throw this with a rope on. I'm like, that's kind of cool. But at the same time, I just spent 15 minutes watching some person build a tomahawk with a rope to it. <laughs> and I'm like, all right, that's I understand why, but I 
I could have not watched I just mean 15 like, minutes like, of that. Like the real, like slow, long establishing shots, which are very pretty. I thought they those, were pretty. I thought that was actually really nice. They remind me of like suspense. It remind me of like the way cinematographer. Over uh, yeah, yeah. I liked that. They remi- it reminded me of it like made a, the world very open, and it just it was very. Uh, it, it was giving me witch vibes with like the hundreds of years ago, like the big establishing shots, with, like mm. the woods and stuff. I thought it was beautiful. I like that. Film. I just think it took a little bit too long to get the action going. It did. Uh, and no one was acting badass in. enough, you know. Before Predator, they're flexing and stuff, yeah. and no one's no one, no one, no one's enough. cursing at each other. He does. They basically do the uh, ancient equivalent of "Get Back in the Kitchen," where they're like, "We don't yeah. need a cook." And yeah. I'm like, "Oh Jesus!" <laughs> um, but when the action does get going, I really like it. Uh, the what's the violence was was nice. The violence was good this time. I I was very yeah. happy with the creativeness of the some previous of the movie had some pretty good violence. It did. <laughs> with it, the, it definitely did. The, the rope that cuts off the heads. That was uh-huh. cool. I no I. I what was up agree. with the CGI animals? They all looked awful. Yeah. All right. I. The the lion was not. It was so the, rushed. The lion was, lion was, was at good. night. That was not too bad. The wolf mm-hmm. wasn't too bad. But like the elk in the beginning. The elk looked bad. Looked really big. And like the bear. And I was telling her, like, what did you say? The Revenant. Uh huh. There's a CGI bear in that that looks great. Oh, yeah. And then, uh, remember we saw the Wolverine? There was a CGI bear in the beginning of that. And that looked good. Well, I think, wasn't it? It was CGI? Might have been animatronic. I wasn't sure if it was because all it did was, you know, breathe kind of like a. No, no, it sounds like walking around. I think it's CGI. So I have seen really good CGI bears. Yes. Yeah. So when I was watching this movie, I'm like, ooh, that's rough. It reminded me of the bear from Lake Placid that gets eaten by the alligator or the crocodile. Oh. Uh, that really took me, like, even, like, I love the snake. Yeah. Because, because animal, animal fact, snakes can see heat. So even though the predator is cloaked, it has a similar heat sensor, mm-hmm. much like the predator. So I like that mm-hmm. it tries to bite the predator. Yeah. I think he got yeah. a little pissed about that, as you can tell. Yeah. The following yeah. moments. But, he, but, but, like, as cool as the idea was, the snake, I'm just like, yeah. I'm like, that looks pretty bad. I don't know. I just, I expected it to look a little bit better. Uh, the Predator is cloaked for a lot of it. Which I kind of prefer. It, it, it I didn't mind that, but in this movie, sure. more than any other I can think of, they actually give the Predator like his own scenes, which yeah. I don't think we've ever seen before. Not re- not unless they were connecting to the, the lead or plot line A or There's whatever. little stuff in Predator where like he fixes himself yeah. Oh, yeah. and he's cleaning his skulls. Mm-hmm. But like those are like little segments in between scenes. Like the Predator in this has his own scenes yeah. versus the wolf, mm-hmm. which I don't think he needed to be cloaked for. No. I'm like, who gives a fuck if the wolf sees you, dude? <laughs> well, he doesn't yeah. know. He's new to the planet. You know what I mean? That's he doesn't know true. what threats are what yet. He doesn't. That's why he isn't threatened by the the female actress. You know what that's I mean? True. Because he's just like, oh, this. I don't apparently need to be threatened by this. Yeah. He was getting acclimated. He was getting sure. acclimated. <laughs> yes. Seeing where he was on the uh, the old food chain. <laughs> yes. 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 Uh-huh. Um, so yeah, so some of the CGI was a little wonky. And it is a practical predator suit, but they definitely enhanced it, which I didn't think was too bad. No, but I liked it. It was just some of the digital effects. I'm like, because this was meant for theaters before they decided to put it on Hulu. It was in really? some theaters. It was in some theaters, but like in LA or Why something. Why not? Why not? I have guess it in when theaters? Disney Disney decided, hey, let's just put it straight to streaming. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it makes sense because this wasn't huge. The previous yeah, movie was that, a flop. I know, that didn't do well. It could be like, hey, you know, we could do this movie cheap and effective. And just put it out on streaming because yeah. it probably would cost money to put it in the theaters. It doesn't so. mean you don't try though to make it as perfect as possible. I guess, I yeah. guess. But no, if they I, had I like three agree. underperforming Predator movies in a row, like even AVP Requiem, I no think, excuses. I don't know. I don't know. So yeah, I think that could have had a second pass. The animation, maybe. Um, CGI, like a Jason sorry. X kind of thing where they just stop trying. Uh, I don't know. Don't bring <laughs> like it we've back made so there. many, just don't even. Yeah, but where the movie excels is like the, like you said, the over the top fighting and violence. Ooh, yes. Yeah. Th- this predator gets like down and dirty a little bit. The the one in the previous movie did too, but it was kind of stupid. This was... one, there's a moment where the predator cuts a guy's head off, and even the predator is impressed with what he did. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Literally, he just goes like, huh. Like he like looks yeah. at it. Like I didn't think that yeah. would happen. And like with the animals. He's taking out the predators of the forest. That's true. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's true. He kills a snake that kills yeah. a mouse, and then mm-hmm. he kills the wolf that was after. He kicks. I love he just jumps up and kicks the wolf. Yeah. 
I mean, but uh, the real dog wasn't CGI. Yes, there is a Scooby. real dog in the movie, mm-hmm. and the, the wolf was real for like a second. Yeah. Um. Yeah. The predator. I love the look of not his face, but his helmet. I love that he built his the helmet. I think the helmet. He built cool. like his helmet into a skull, uh-huh. which was really really cool. Uh, I, I thought he was like blind, like I couldn't find the eyes. Yeah, like for the first half of the movie, and uh. like it almost took him taking it off to be like, "Oh shit, that's where his eyes were." <laughs> All right, I, I had no they idea. Are... I thought he was like blind, which made him more wait, 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 badass he... or something. I'm sorry. What did you think of his face when he took his mask off? It looked a little kind, like com- only compared to the other movies, it looked a little bit derpy. Oh, I liked it. I thought it looked a little too derpy. Too. No, I, just, I really it didn't, liked like, it. Like his eyes were like his eyes. eyes and so so before down and in outwards. the other movies, the eyes are like the actor's eyes. Yeah, it's like so human eyes. Okay, right? but this one, good. I guess it's like a big mask. So his eyes are. He's yeah, got Anna Taylor Joy that's, eyes. They're like a uh, little too far. They're apart. just a little. Yeah, that's what kind of threw it, me off. I like how it moved though. Like the yeah. close-ups of it were just yeah. yeah. I like no, that they I, let I his like mandibles the be on the yeah, outside. That, of yeah, I, I like that. that. Was cool. That's yeah. what I like. But he was a little too skinny for me. He was very skinny he was, compared he was, to the other. Well, he was he not was thick. New, not a thick yeah. boy. He was a he was learning. He was a little teenage predator. <laughs> he was or like me in high school. He was like extremely thin. <laughs> yeah. And you know he probably hasn't dated a lady predator yet. And um, if he if <laughs> he made it out of this movie, I'm sure he would have packed on the pounds. Yeah, that's all it took. Um. Yeah, I think he's cool. Uh, we finally, so the net, the net gun. Yeah, mm-hmm. I was disappointed in Predator 2 because it's cutting the guy and I'm waiting for him yeah. to turn into cubes uh-huh. and it never happens. Alien versus Predator. That was the biggest fucking cop out because that guy gets cut into cubes in Resident Evil. Uh-huh. So I'm like, oh, he's going to get cut into cubes. And then they cut away from it. And this yeah. one, like the net just, it cuts the just, guy and the tree yeah, into yeah. tiny yeah. cubes. I'm like, that holy was, shit. That was badass. <laughs> that was badass. I love that how realistic they were with the muskets because mm-hmm. they all when they're all the firing they squad. all fire and then they have to like reload. Like, uh huh. It's like and the predator's just like really guys. Now, Raphael Andalini, that was the name on the gun given to Danny Glover in Predator Two. Yes, there was a comic years ago where he was a pirate and he had to deal with like a mutinous crew. And they washed up on an island. The predator was the predator from Predator Two, the older one, was mm-hmm. taking them all out. And then he got into a fight with the predator. He almost won. Someone shot him in the back, and he said, "Take it to the predator," and gave him the gun. And the gun was like, "That is a noble warrior. I will take that gun." Yeah. And then he gives it to Danny Glover. So they said this was 1719. They showed the gun in one of the trailers, and Joe got real excited. He's like, "They're gonna do Raphael and Delaney. Oh my uh-huh. god, that's awesome!" but I'm a smart person and I know how modern Hollywood works. And I'm like, oh, the girl's the lead character? I'm like, I made him a bet. I'm like, I bet you they fumble the origin and they do something stupid. Like he's not even in it or she steals the gun or somehow it becomes her gun and yeah. then that's the warrior it's uh-huh. tied to. And they fucking did it. Raphael teaches her how to use the gun. Uh-huh. He just dies like a bitch. Yeah. He's not he's a just, pirate. They, they step on him and he's just like. <laughs> he's yeah. not a pirate. And then she has the gun, which means, I guess, in a sequel, the actual Predator dude from 2 will come and get it from her. Yeah, I was going to ask if you like that. Do you like that they did it that no. way? No. no. That's the only thing I don't like about the no, movie. Because really? I thought been... it was a cool little throwback. I would have read. But if they gave it to the Predator. No? Oh, it may mean if we saw or that Or if scene. the ship came back and picked it up. I assume that's going to happen. Okay. Because that was like the little tease that's... at the end. Yeah. yeah. But I would have rather a movie about a pirate dealing with other pirates... And then that actual predator gets the gun. And then it was like, nope, lady gets the gun. <laughs> so this movie's woke. Zero stars. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. I do like they came up with a new way to get rid of the cloaking. I like that. There's like a weird plant that lowers your, oh, yeah. Yeah, your blood temperature. Mm-hmm. That was great. That was cool. And there, yeah. that's like a real tenseful scene. Like, not since the first predator. Did when, you say like, tenseful? Tenseful, <laughs> which I think is not even a word either. <laughs> Wow, I had a crystal moment. Tense anyway. filled? Tense filled scene, oh, I guess. Filled. Sensual. Sensual scene. It's a very erotic scene. Very tensual. But not since the first Predator when Arnold's in the mud and the Predator's crawling behind him. Was mm-hmm. I that tense? Because yeah. she's she eats the plant and the Predator's almost about to bump into her and she has to like kind of sidestep so uh-huh. he doesn't notice. 
That was cool. I liked her brother character. I, I felt really, really bad him. when he was died. very strong. Yeah, yeah, that you don't normally like when it comes to no. these movies. I don't normally feel bad when people die. And I'm like, yeah. no, I didn't. I didn't want him to die. Now, if he had said something like, "I love to skin people alive and murder them," like yeah. in Predators, I would have been like, "All right, you should probably kill that guy." Yeah, probably. Or like if he didn't admit that he used her plan and stuff. Oh uh, yeah, wait. He kind of takes credit for her killing that lion. But 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 he does let her know. Yeah, he lets her know. There's a nice little. <laughs> he moment. lets her know. I like the final fight. Final fight is fun. Yeah. Uh, how she like tricks him into going into that going quicksand. Going into the quicksand. That was yeah. cool. And then the helmet guess, like conveniently landed I, yeah, I did. I didn't realize that she took his helmet well, and I mean, like I, well, aimed it, it at him. It yeah. fell there, didn't it? Or did it? Did she? I think she. It no, there? I think she put it there on okay. purpose. Because uh, during the fight, one thing I didn't like, I didn't like that she was able to just pull his mandible off. I thought that was so cool. I'm, like, I'm just I, like, yo, this person is. I really thought those were going to be a lot stronger than they are. Like, you know how hard it is to pull a tooth out? Like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. But when you're about to die, you get Ooh. some real you get I'm, adrenaline. I'm just saying, I know, but like, adrenaline. She I don't know. I assume like I that, that thing's that was... like a tusk or something. That's not coming out easily. Jesus Christ. <laughs> when I saw that happen, I'm I'm thinking from the Predator's perspective, like, yo, this is what I wanted. Give me some more of someone I'm having trouble <laughs> they killing. They love fighting. Exactly. Yeah. They love like, it. I'm pretty sure he got like a little bit of like a Predator boner at that moment. He's like, yo, <laughs> I am getting messed up here. This is great. Do they have dicks or since they're reptilian, do they have cloacas? Casey, What's weigh in. cloaca? Cloaca is what some birds and lizards have. It's just a hole where they do everything. It, a hole? No, <laughs> I think they have a... You think they, they have a predator yeah, dick? Yeah, they All have right. a D, yeah. Okay. Well, they always wear, like, something, right? They're, they do. I, I don't really think, now that I think of, like, they, they got do. This, I like, mean, look, if I had a cloaca, like a I wouldn't cloth. want it exposed. They're like us humans. <laughs> they got a loincloth here, you know what I mean? Yeah, like I guess, <laughs> I guess. But they're kind of reptilian. Huh. One day we'll see a female No, predator. I know that they have it. One day. That was, like, the theory that there's going to be a female predator. I'm like, no. Because I want the one from the book where they're giant and scary. <laughs> I want them to be the ten foot predator, not the one we saw in the Predator. Because oh, apparently they're real big and beefy, and the men are terrified of oh them. Oh my god, that sounds that sounds. Cool. Um, yeah, I love how she tricked him at the end. I love that the Predator downgraded his weapons for the natives because mm-hmm. it would be cheating if he was using the plasma gun and whatnot. Right, and didn't he use a Wait. new thing that we hadn't seen? It looked like um, a popcorn maker. Oh, yeah. With the nets, he just like, uh, yeah, the yeah, little disc. Shoot like yeah. lasers. Now that was cool. Yeah. I didn't. I watched it again this morning. I didn't realize there's a lot of like shallow focus in this movie. Okay. Where like the background is like completely blurred. Uh-huh. Uh huh. And like in the scene, like you see the lasers go off, but then it focuses on her. But if you look at the background, you could see all the trees start falling because they were all cut oh. in half. Uh, Remember yeah. the green screen in the beginning? Right? Yeah. Okay. Ooh. They're. I wonder if there were like just not like bad reshoots like the Predator, but like the when she's having the conversation with her brother, they are obviously green screen. Yeah, no, I, that that Why? did throw me off initially, and I'm just like, please, please Why don't do keep, think? please don't keep this going. It, it's definitely like a put it in later. Okay. Kind yeah, of they probably like we need or to re- scheduling. Like they didn't have those. It honestly, could be like enough. it honestly could be like we need to reshoot the scene, or was this an added scene? Do we not have the same actors? Mm, it could just we be gotta, an insert. We needed more exposition. Like, just, yeah. <laughs> bas- yeah, like the the film was like done. And they're like, we need. I still don't we feel for these characters. Them. Give them another moment. I mentioned yeah. in um, the weirdest example I mentioned in the Thor episode, Thor 3, they shot that whole thing with like Odin stuff in the city and then they reshot it, but they couldn't reshoot Kate Blanchett scene. So she's like rotoscoped uh-huh. and it's like real obvious it that is. she's not there. Like you see her hair start to disappear and like in a bill, <gasps> like in a $200 million movie that like sticks out. It does. Uh, but actor scheduling and stuff. True. What are you going to do? It looks uh, bad. But yeah, I think it's really great. Yeah, and I people are fun. loving it. This out of all the Predator movies released in my lifetime, yeah, this is the one. And I think it actually because no one wanted to go to the theater for this one, they didn't see it. This yeah. one being so available on a platform everyone has, people are actually seeing it. Yeah. And the good thing is most of the Predator movies are on Hulu right now. Yeah. So hopefully they go back and actually check that one out. Uh-huh. Um, and watch our commentaries. Yeah, it's in my lifetime. This is the most positive reviews I've seen for a Predator movie. Yay! Yeah. Oh, I'm yes. so happy for you, Tony. <laughs> Thanks. They did it for me. Dave Tragerberg <laughs> from it. Philly. Uh, you know, I'm sure he met me when I was a kid. I think he's 10 years older than me. Yeah. <laughs> and I said, I want to make a Predator movie, and it's got to have this, this, this. And Dan was like, I'll do it for you, kid. Just give me some time. That really <laughs> happened. One Philly boy to another. <laughs> One Philly boy to another. <laughs> did it for us. It's very plausible. I'm just saying. It's very plausible. So now we've come to the end. Yes.
And not only are we going to tell you what we think is the worst Predator movie, just like our Star Wars episode, we've made a tier list. <laughs> now, uh, Tom, we'll go in order. Oh, oh God. man. Tom, would you like to go first with your tier list? Sure. <clears throat> okay. So what do you have for the S tier? I actually have Prey. And that's probably right next to Predator, right? No. <laughs> Who are you? What? No. What? No, nah, I, th I think I might like this one a little bit more, mostly because of the modernization and just like making things a little bit faster paced. I'm scared. Okay. Okay. You know how you said you blocked out bad memories of movies like Thor 2? Yeah. I'm going <laughs> to block out this conversation. All right. Okay, so, so Tom, already your list is terrible. What do you have <laughs> at the A tier? Uh, a, I have Predator. I thought it was a great movie. Not not as good as Prey, apparently. I just, I, it's not as violent as I like it. I guess. Wow. I, I I like uh, I like a little more violence compared to the the hidden elements. Like the Predator was working with what they had at the time, and what yeah. they had at the time, like revolutionary at that well, time. But yeah, if when I when I watch something today, I have a, a much higher expectation, and I, I I feel like that hit it a couple times in some aspects. Like Some mostly with the <laughs> with the violence, I just it, it, it's good. It's okay. a lot more creative violence compared to just people turning into milk or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what do you have for B? Uh, predators. Okay, you're putting that above Predator too, huh? Uh, I thought that it was it was well shot. Like it was an attractive film. Like I liked the characters. The acting was way better. Go ahead, argue. <laughs> <laughs> the acting was better in Predators, in my opinion, for amongst all the characters, not like Danny Glover, great performance. Mm. Gary Busey, he was there. You know what I mean? It's, <laughs> hey, just, hey. it's one of those things. Like, I give want, like, Gary a, a Busey, cross... Give Gary Busey a break. That was one of the first movies he did after his brain fell out and yes. he had to put it back in. He's, I, I <laughs> he's acting with the best he could at the time. I understand. It's just like for <laughs> Tom, Tom, overall character. Have your brain fall out in the mar motorcycle accident and I'll judge your acting. I wouldn't a choppa acting. accident. I would, that's where you stop is like a sign maybe. <laughs> anyway, anyway. All right. So continue. B, I had Predators. Okay. Uh, C, I have the predator. That's not where it ends. I'm sorry. What? Oh, and what's what's C? I have the predator, because I thought it was a fun, stupid predator movie with stuff that I didn't get to see already, and it's just like, yeah, that's cool. Sure. I'm Let's looking make at it, fun. it. I'm looking at it. You have it side by side with Predator Two. Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I have the Predator and Predator Two. They're right there. I like them. That amount for different reasons. Okay, let's hear it. Tom, Tom, I love you. Oh, we're really good friends. Thank you. This is the maddest I've ever been at you. You're welcome. You're welcome. I, I kind of slapped this list together. I, I, gave, it, I gave it a, a, a couple minutes, but Tom, what you I, I just didn't said, spend like an hour of inflection. Tom, what like you, you just said is did. saying like, oh yeah, you know, I put Terminator Two next to Terminator Genesis. Like that's the equivalent <laughs> oh, in my mind. Ah, <laughs> no, I would never say that. And then, uh, in my opinion. Okay, in last place, uh, AVP and AVP Two. Mm. Which one do you think is worse? Two. So oh, Alien. I will, hmm. That they're no two. So Alien two. versus Prey Requiem is your worst Predator movie. That is that is the worst Predator movie in my opinion. Okay, okay, Tom, you son of a bitch. Okay, Casey, let's see your <laughs> list. Um, you know, like in the Predator, we started with you guys doing that, saying that, yeah. and now it's ending, and it's in a <laughs> sad way. You know what? I feel like Arnold when he found out that uh, <laughs> what's his face, Dylan was a. Was a backstabber, yeah. manipulator. It really is that. You set us up. All comes full circle. <laughs> okay, Casey, let's anyway. see your list. Okay, so for the S tier, is okay. that what we're saying? Um, I have, of course have Predator. No, that makes sense. Arnold's in it. That does make sense. I love it so much. I love him so much. Okay. And then the second one, <laughs> I line them up together: Predator Two and Prey. Oh. <laughs> huh. Okay. I huh. both find them, like, they both have special places in my heart for different reasons. Yeah. And it's funny because I rated on my Letterbox D account. Yes. My movie diary. Have you guys gotten that yet? No, I haven't. Wow. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway. Uh, Casey, this show is my movie diary. <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> yes. That's really sweet. Yeah. Okay, well, I rated Predator 2 lower stars 
than prey. Okay. Um, but like I said, they have different places in my heart for those reasons. Mm. But A, I really liked Prey. It reminded me of like Stand By Me for some reason. <laughs> I just had Stand By Me vibes. The coming of age story of just like, especially when they're all fighting together, like the kids. Yeah. And then she like just has to. You know what I forgot to mention? Sorry. Uh, with Prey, because the, the director was like real big into video games. The tomahawk, he got that from God of War with the ar- the axe that you oh, can summon. Geez. And actually, the Predator's shield is just like Kratos' shield. That but what I liked sense. about Prey is like it kind of reminded me of the Tomb Raider reboots, more so than the movie based off the reboot. Yeah. It felt like those new Tomb Raider movies where mm-hmm. she's like doing all this stuff and she gets to fight like a big monster. They didn't do that in the new Tomb Raider movie. That was no. let down. Anyway, no, continue. I, I so I think so far, Predator, Prey, and then Predator 2. Okay. And then, but I do rate them on the same. And then I have my predators there for B. Okay. Then for C, because that's that's, pretty much standalone. That's where I have it too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. And then we have the predator as well as alien versus predator. Oh, you're putting. I do feel like they're on the same level as well. (laughs) And to end it, I just don't think requiem should have happened. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, that that can definitely. But like, I give them the benefit of the doubt. They made a movie. Yeah. (laughs) Like a feature a film, I should say. Like I haven't made a feature film. Hey, you know what? Those directors have gone on to make a a trilogy of films. They did Skyline. Mm-hmm. Remember Skyline? I remember hearing it. They got in trouble for that one because their effects company did the effects for Battle Los Angeles, and then they right. they used the money from that to make their movie Skyline, which mm-hmm. is also about aliens invading Los no, Angeles. I remember. And they put it out ahead of time. They got in a lot oh, of trouble. Yeah, you mentioned but that. they've since done two Skyline sequels, which I don't know why. Skyline was awful. Anyway. <laughs> uh, so both said Alien vs. Predator Requiem is the worst one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now we're up to my list. Can I like go back to mine again? Now that I'm <gasps> rethinking things? Uh, what? No. Yeah. No. What? 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 What do you want to change? See, I don't. What if I just take prey out of S? No one is S, and pre- <laughs> <laughs> and predator and prey are both A, because it takes a lot for me to be S. You know what I mean? Never mind. Never mind. All right. So the S tier. Let's see. S tier. Predator. Okay. Obviously. Obviously. A tier. A tier. Predator two. Oh. Obviously, oh, ooh. <laughs> just Predator Two. Nothing else. Uh, okay. B tier. I put Predators and Prey. I like both. I like both a lot. Um, Prey might have the better story and be the better movie. I think I might enjoy Predators slightly more though. I'd have to watch them a couple more times. Yeah. Uh, the Predator looks kind of goofy when he takes his helmet off. That's and, what you're basing it And I don't of? like the Raphael, and I want it, because I also <laughs> thought Raphael Andolini was Italian, and now he's French in the new one. Or he's an Italian hanging out with the French. Yeah, I want an Italian pirate, Raphael. Okay. Uh, but no, both solid films. Mm-hmm. This CGI, mm-hmm. this monkey CGI kind of. If, if that bear looked a little bit better. Yeah, Although I did I enjoy, I did enjoy... Because she didn't watch the trailers. And the trailers, it makes it look like the Predator kills the bear right away. I did enjoy in the actual movie that they're like beating the shit out of each other yeah. for a little bit. C tier. Nothing. Just nothing. Nothing is insane. Nothing in the okay. C tier. D tier. Oh, uh, the rest? <laughs> the Predator. Okay. I If there's ever a day when we see what the movie really would have been like, with the actual ending and Edward James almost not being cut out, I maybe that will move up to the C tier. But as the movie is now, D, dumb. Uh, <laughs> and then both Alien versus Predator movies. Yeah, I, I almost see, put we, Alien. We did agree on something. I almost yeah. put Alien versus Predator in the C tier because as much as I hate that movie, it's done a lot for me. <laughs> um, Aww. But uh, but you didn't. Huh? You didn't. Right. So I think. If it was lit better, it might have not gotten this. But okay. I do think, as it stands now, Alien vs. Predator Requiem is the worst Predator movie. Alien vs. Predator is just a bad movie. Yeah. But there's more to make fun of in it. Mm-hmm. And we got some cool toys out of it. I yeah. got a costume out of it. <laughs> like yeah. There was stuff that the movie girl. did for me and the brand and whatnot. Uh, but Alien vs. Predator Requiem is just, like you said, why even bother? Why they even bother? Yeah. So that's it. We all agree. Yeah. yeah. 
We all stars. agree on that. We all agree on. Good job. <laughs> oh, I got a star. Yes. No, don't put a no, no. <laughs> give him an F minus. <laughs> That's Why? true. <laughs> oh, I, I threw this. I, like I just noticed now. I'm pretty sure I would have put Prey and Predator in A, and nothing would have gotten S. Okay. Um, and that's so great. Like for now her. that I think about it. <laughs> yeah. Like she gets to be a part of this universe, and it all comes back to. Yes, and like I, I feel bad because they put Santa Lathan in AVP. No one cared. They put the up. No, we do care about that one. Well, the, the second movie, I don't know. I still don't know who the main character is in the second. <laughs> oh my god, we got two Buzies. I mean, that's got to be yeah. something. Yeah. But even Olivia Munn was like, whatever. But this new girl, Amber Mid Thunder, like this is this is gonna be great for her career. Oh yeah. Um, she's gonna be in a lot. I, and in the end, like Sean was so happy to see the war paint. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. That was satisfying. Uh, I do like that they leave a little tease at the end. Did you watch the little? Animation? Yeah, the, that was cool. Because I was like, they're not going to leave the predator skull there. Yeah, no. And how does that other predator get the gun? I'm like, oh, that's cool. They're coming back down for it. Mm -hmm. So hopefully, there ha there's never been like a direct sequel that continues a story in Predator yet. The sequel to the prequel. I think there might be a sequel to this that continues the story. We've never seen that. Before. Maybe well, AVP two because the Pred alien, but no. Nah. Yeah. Uh, that literally so, picked up like yeah. the instant that ended. Yeah, but like yeah, we never seen like a character come back and continue their journey with the Predators. So that'd be interesting Ooh. to see. I actually yeah. wouldn't mind that. They should drop them all off at that place in Predators. <laughs> every single one of them. Oh, she goes to the planet. And the, yeah. That actually would be awesome. <laughs> That would like be kind of cool. Stowaway, accidentally. Yeah. Bring them all back. That would be kind of cool. That would be kind of cool. Takes out the organization from the inside. <laughs> <laughs> well, like I said, in the Universe Predator comics, there is that awesome girl in the comics who ended up. She ends up living with the Predators and hunting with them, and they make like armor for her. We've never seen that. That's yet. not what AVP could have been. That is what AVP okay. could have been. That's what I wanted to say. I have a stack of comics. Uh, okay. But that's what they can kind of do with this because we don't know mm -hmm. her journey. We can see her basically because I've always wanted Absolutely. to see that kind of character in a movie. We haven't gotten it yet. So, yeah, I'm hyped for it. That was it. What is the worst Predator movie? We settled on Alien vs. Predator Requiem. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, check out our previous Predator movie. Mm -hmm. uh, Tom also helped us with what is the worst Terminator movie a while back. That was a lot of fun. Yes. That was a little easier. <laughs> that was oh, a little that was, easier. That was definitely a little easier. I There's agree. some ups and downs of Predator. Ter Terminator, it's like... <laughs> that like one blip at the end. <laughs> like one little blip. So check that out. And like I said, on Patreon, me and Casey did commentaries for... Well, I did the first one by myself, but we did commentaries mm -hmm. for all the Predator sequels. So listen to those. They are very, very fun. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And thank you for supporting the channel and all that fun stuff. And we will see you all later. Let us know if you agree with our list. If you agree with Tom, I will ban you from the goddamn <laughs> channel. Uh, and we'll see you all later. Goodbye. We are waiting for the dark souls of fighting games. Let us have it. We're ready. <laughs> Soul Edge has nothing on a lightsaber. Like, I'm sorry. James Earl Jones comes back. No. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. I don't think kids trade games yeah. anymore. I need that sense of accomplishment, and it wasn't there. And I think that that was a major flaw. The way they engineer these is just phenomenal. As much as you're into like the comics, I was very into the toys, so I was on like the message board all yeah. the time. Yeah. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our other videos and Patreon page.